Okay. Okay. I threatened it, and it started working again. Hello. Mic check. <sighs> yeah. Your hair grows faster in the morning than any other time of day. Well, I'm sleeping in the morning and everything's faster when, uh, when you're sleeping, like healing and all that. So that makes sense. Uh, hello, Sparky. Yeah. Just bash. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Give me one sec. I swear, if it fucking freezes again, I will screech. Okay. It seems to be working. It seems to be working. Okay. The curse that held him We're gonna see this a lot. <laughs> Fuck. Yennefer and the witchers managed to do it. The ugliest man alive revealed himself to be not man, but oh, you're elf, so cute. and an elven sage at that. Avalach, for this was his name, was the elven mage who had helped Ciri flee the hunt, then hidden her away on the Isle of Mists. Wow, Bing, you're so cute. Okay. I return. <sighs> Hello, everybody. Sup? Um. There. So hi, everybody. I'm back. How how you doing? Sup? I was afraid I would have to, uh, like, restart my computer or something. Cause I don't want to fucking do that. Who wants to do that? When they're supposed to be streaming. Okay. So. What we're gonna do is get all these, like, secondary quests out of the way. And then... Oh, bugs! Fuck you. Get back into your sterilite bin. You too. Woof. Oh, come on. Gotcha. Nice. Oh, yeah? Oh, good to know. Good to know. I'm glad you guys are so patient. Hopefully everything is- everything's working properly now though, right? We're good? We're all good? All good. Okay, good. Well, hello everybody. S wait, what? What? Do I have water? Oh, I've got tea. I, sh I could get water. I could probably use some water. I haven't had that much water today. Huh. I'm gonna go- actually, you know what? I'll get water in like 15 minutes when I go to do- I'll drink the tea, but I'll go get water in like 15 minutes when I check on the jelly. 
15 minutes, the jelly should be good. And, um... Bad idea. Ooh! Fuck! <laughs> Fuck you guys. Jesus. That's what you deserve. If I'm honest. Got hot dogs! Hmm. Might want to look around some. Hot dogs are pretty legit. Especially those, like... I have this, like, disgusting love of, um... Like, the really cheap hot dogs. I don't know why, but, like... No. Like those, like, no-name brand hot dogs. The really cheap, like, beef and pork ones. Oh. I just love them. They're so... They're so disgustingly good. I know a lot of people will disagree. And don't worry, I mean... I also love... Like, really good sausages and stuff like that. But... I don't know, man. There's something special about those really cheap hot dogs. Oh, nice! Yeah, the ones I get are pretty little. Okay, go down. Nice. Oh, so there's a bunch here. Good to know. Oh, there's more stairs going down. No, no, wait. No, no, no. More stairs going down. You know what I should probably do? Use this torch. Hell yeah. <coughs> Yeah! Floor sausages! The ones made of, like, buttholes and, like, the, the meat near the ears and shit. Yo, I love those. Yeah, mechanically recovered meat. The stuff that gets ground up, that nasty shit. Yo, I don't even care. I don't even care, man. It's been sanitized by heat. It's going in my mouth. <laughs> They're so fucking good. I don't even care. Give me that- those cheap fucking hot dogs. Don't get me wrong, I could appreciate a good, expensive, clean meat dog, but, like... <laughs> something, something nostalgic about eating super fucking cheap hot dogs just with some ketchup and mustard on a cheap, like, wonder bread bun. Yes, mystery meats. It's not a mystery to me. It's delicious. Oh, I know. Don't worry. I'll eat those hot dogs too. I'm just also very satisfied with the very cheap hot dogs. Oh, I can eat like three hot dogs. And I'm like 110 pounds, so like three of those hot dogs for me is a lot of food. Because it's a lot of bread too, but like... Oh. That hot dog water, don't spill it on the carpet. Don't worry, that shit goes down the sink. Oh no, they're more expensive than that for me, Nitro. It's like, it's like four bucks for a pack of like eight. Kian performed wonderfully. It's a shame, of course, that Professor Gloger disappeared somewhere in the ruins of the Est Tair, along with the rest of the elven diagrams. But those sketches for a steel sword alone are worth as much as a village in southern Redenia. We split the takings equally. As per our agreement, I kept the diagram for the silver sword, while Kian took the crossbow diagram. I must admit, I didn't expect- or I didn't exactly need every member of this expedition's head preserved in vinegar, but they do constitute impressive proof of Kian's con conscientiousness and professionalism. The Witcher swore none of the archaeologists would live- would leave Estair alive, and none did. All the more shame, then, that Kian didn't accept my offer. As my personal bodyguard, he would never have wanted for a thing. Steady pay, caviar and strawberries for breakfast, lobster for lunch, daily baths, a court surgeon, and courtesans of both sexes for all his needs. And if he still lacked for anything, he had but to knock on my chamber door. Living the life. He must, um, he must very uh, much love all the trudging around in the world, because I do not believe Jacob of 
Dembitch. Dembitch! Whoa. Dembic? Could have dangled a better offer than I did. Really now? Jacob of Dembitch? A second-rate captain transporting whores to dockside Novigrad pimps for a fistful of crowns? With any luck, sooner or later a storm... Uh... A storm will sink the leaky tub of his and Kian will return to me, tail between his legs. Illegible scribbling, scribbling, waxing, blade oil, devil's puffball, contortions. Ink visibly fresher than previous entries. Many years must have passed. I have heard the flying deer, the vessel on which Kian was sailing, wrecked off the coast of Grassy Knoll. Was it my curse? Hmm. Not bad for a beginner. Perhaps I should think about enrolling at Ban Ard. I'm not American, I'm Canadian. Well, I guess I'm I'm North American for the technicalities, but I'm Canadian. Also, Canada has higher food standards, so like I probably wouldn't want to eat the cheap hot dogs from the States. But the cheap hot dogs from Canada? Pretty legit. They're pretty, uh... They're pretty damn legit. It's all good. Hey, Cody. Just light everything on fire. Oh, really? You gonna do that to me? Ah, oh, fuck it. Hey, mind. Sup, my dude. Sup. How are you on this fantastic day that is a Tuesday? <laughs> if Tuesdays can be considered fantastic. Well, they can be because I'm on Twitch. That that does make Tuesdays a lot better. In my humble opinion. How you doing, dude? Oh gosh, guys, I'm so excited for the currant jelly. Oh my gosh. I can't like smell it or anything because they're in jars, but... And it didn't have that much of a smell either when I smelled the the jars. But I imagine the taste will be rather delicious. I hope. Kill one more beast, give oh, nice! Yeah, I mean, I, I stream from 7 p.m. Eastern until 3 a.m., so like... If you breathe on a Thursday, then there's a good chance you can catch some of the stream. I mean, unless I guess unless you're in Europe, then it makes it a little difficult unless you're a morning person or a night owl. One or the other. Um maybe we'll go Oh wait. Didn't we come here as Siri? Weren't we here as Siri? I think Maybe I'm wrong? This all looks very familiar. Where exactly am I going? I'm going somewhere. I'll just pretend I know what I'm doing. Oh, it is down here. Oh, it's down. Maybe there's a cave. Yeah, yeah, Tuesdays and Wednesdays. And ooh, if I have over 300 subscribers, then I also stream on Thursdays. Um but like that's not something that happens particularly oft. Oh shit, slide. Yes where my pro skateboarding abilities come into play. <laughs> I, I I do not frequently have over 300 subs. Like gifted subs count, of course, but um, oh fuck man, how do we get it? I bet we had to go in a building or something too. Maybe not though. Come on, girl. <gasps> I did it! Oh, thank you, Mind! Thank you very much! Yeah, I'm loving the game so much. So much. It's been very fun. 
Thank you so much! Thank you very much for subbing, my dude! I think we're at 132 right now. We passed 300 for my birthday, so I got to stream on Thursdays. Um... Oh fuck, my inventory's full. Why didn't I check that first? <sighs> Let's just drop some garbage. But yeah, we, we got to stream on Thursdays for like a month, which was really cool. Maybe we'll get back to it one day. Well, I do appreciate that. That is really kind of you. Thank you, my dude. Oh, we're level 24. Almost level 25. Okay, cool. Good enough. Jesus Christ, that's expensive. Ain't that some shit. Alright, let's save. Um, E. So... Someone placed an illusion here. Yeah, not on my watch. Yeah, get fucked. Okay, yeah, for sure. I'll be around. Thank you for popping in and thank you so much for the sub. Oh. Oh, there's a lot of stuff going on in here. Ooh. Have a good one, dude. Oh, of course there's a golem. Wait. Hold on. Let me... So it'd be Elementa oil. Level 14 golem, so this is fucking nothing. <laughs> fucking nothing! Can. Oh, wait, oops, I actually wanted Igni. No, I wanted Igni. There we go. Okay, there should be another one over here. Let's just light this place up a little bit so that we can maybe see some stuff. I can actually kind of see better without it, if I'm honest. Lock. Key required. How about over here? There we go. Ooh. Fancy. Look at these pretty lights. Oh, some nauseous gas. Look to the depths to be lifted up. <clears throat> As per instructions of our supervisor, Inarius Var Steingard, we have conducted a series of studies on the genotype of the creatures commonly known as drowners. Sadly, administering a poison made of fugu fish induced a coma in all the specimens in the study. After 24 hours, the vital function of all the above-mentioned specimens ceased, prohibiting us from continuing with the study. Oh. What is this? Oh, a lever! Oh, it's a puzzle! Hold on. Can I light the torches? Okay, good. Let's light these torches. What the 
fuck was that? So... What do you know? Just the wind? Yeah. Must have been the wind. Dear Pascal and Timo, or Timo, hmm. Uh, I've got a bit of time between these treatments. I have to administer uh, to these stinking drowners. So, as promised, I'm writing you the recipe for my famous spiced chicken and pumpkins do. Pumpkin, chicken thighs, or alternatively chicken breast? No. Chicken chicken thighs are where it's at. Mix of exotic spices. Milk of the Cocos Nucifera. Hard to get, but there's a ship from Opienkenberg and Sun's import company that arrives in the Novigrad port. First Wednesday of every month, and those guys sell everything. Striped horses included. Remainder of the list is illegible. Make sure you figure out the process on your own. Or I'll... I'm sure you'll figure out the process on your own. Good luck. P.S. You owe me. I see. Okay, so what? Do I have to turn all these guys inwards? Maybe? Hey, lulzies. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it doesn't look as good right now. When it gets a little darker, it, uh, it looks a lot better. But I do like it. It's just behind, like, uh, like, one of those paper room dividers. Oh my gosh, please. <laughs> okay. I feel like they all need to be facing inwards. Oh no! Maybe not. Ah, there we go. I love puzzles. A lot. I can understand why people wouldn't like them, but I'm a fan. These guys have some pretty cool outfits. Come on. Tomb Raider? I've never played Tomb Raider before. Well, that was easy. Just make them all face inwards. Oh, I do not like this, though. I don't like that... Oh. Oh! Okay, let's go get some air. Imagine someone comes and just closes me in. Ugh. Like, wow, great, thanks. Oh. Bones. A laboratory key. Anything else down here? Or is that it? I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Okay. That's a pretty safe place for a key. Yeah, just hide it in a corpse. Underneath a fucking floor that has water. Well, there we go, guys. Now we can get in. Easy enough. Okay. Wait, is this a... Is this what I think it is? Yeah, 
thought so. Oh, well, let's explore this after. Let's go into the laboratory. Also, let's like this. There we go. Properly lit. Sick. Ooh, let's save. I don't want to have to do that again. School of the cat, huh? Oh gosh. That is true. It is better than leaving it under a rock outside. No good, no evil. This is not the end. Oh, I disagree. Hold on, let's just go back so I can properly loot him. Woo! Sliced! Fuck yeah. Day one. Luckily the teleport deposited us, uh, deposited us directly in my laboratory. It's good to be home. I'd grown sick to the gills of that leaky tub. I hope... Uh, that storm I summoned smashed it into the craggy rocks off the grassy knoll shore. The experiments which my students conducted on drowners in my absence did not yield the expected results. As usual, I must do everything myself. I will administer a brew of medical opium to the subject. This milk of the poppy will keep the witcher in a state of half-consciousness and thus incapable of any resistance. Commencing studies. Note. I must hold off on my planned experiments while I clear up the demolished portion of my laboratory. Laboratory. I have set the bones in the uh I have set the bones in the forearm of one of my assistants. Now I will administer a quadruple dose of milk of the poppy to the witcher. Holy shit. Day four. Subject shows incredible resistance to physical torture. Only broke after the second day of intense labor. Moderately satisfactory results from the interrogation. Garnered information about witcher training and the cat school of witchers in general. As I suspected, the cat school witchers are, for the most part, of elven stock. This school must have some tie to the elder races. Addendum. Perhaps its founder was a member of the Aid Sade? I don't know how to pronounce that. Subject unfit for further study. I have discontinued his doses of poppy. Day 7. Administered extract of cowbane and hemlock. In typical representatives of the human and aid sade species, such a mixture provokes paralysis of his peripheral nervous system, and eventually of the nerve endings as well. This excuse me, results in muscular skeletal, skele skeletal pulmonary and cardiac paralysis, and ultimately death through suffocation. Oh! The Witcher is not, however, a typical representative of any species. Though the poison did seem to cause some mild irritation uh, in his nervous system, his mutated body quickly managed to neutralize the harmful alkaloids. In a matter of hours, all symptoms of the poison I administered had vanished. One second, I need some chapstick. Getting my lips dry from all this talking. Okay. Day 15. Stinging him with sea wasp toxin did not provoke the expected results. In order to strengthen the toxin's effect, I have poured ethyl alcohol into his wounds. His nervous system seems to be immune. Day 26. The subject has been tortured, poisoned, burnt, frozen, starved, and dehydrated, and despite all his body continues to function. He eats and drinks by himself, moves about his cell on his own, and is able to articulate simple words, please, drink, don't hurt, stop. Conclusion. As I suspected, the Witcher is a superb ener energumen? Oh. A demon trapped in such excellently prepared- in such an excellently prepared body will become death incarnate, vengeful wrath made flesh, and placed at my command. No one has succeeded in creating a being of such power. Oh, since the times of Malaspin and Alzer, this is a great day for science. Time to begin the incantations. How about no? 
How about... No! Let's not. All these people that think they want a super powerful underling only to realize that that's just not how shit works. Give me all your stuff, I will loot all your things. Yes. So much stuff. I don't know. Alright, loot. Gnomish pranks. Hold on, I want to loot all this stuff too. Come on. It gave me the option for but a moment. Oh well, it's probably just gonna be a book. Um. Looks like I'm probably done here. What if I just stand on his table? There we go. There's nothing else weird in here. No, it's just... Just extinguishing flames. Well, chopped this guy in half, so I guess we don't have to worry about him anymore. I guess let's uh, get out of here. Well, first of all, I want to go... Over here, there was that other pathway that might lead out. That would be kind of cool if it did. Oh. So much clearer down here. mushrooms. Wow, it's cool in here. Any bad guys? Any cool critters to kill? Oh, check it out. Something's here. Invoice for... what? Issued by Jehuda Lo, purchaser Irinus Var Steingard. Goods purchased. Guardian Golem. Clay. Porcelain. Warranty. In the event of damage to the ceramic, please report immediately to the nearest branch um, of Jehudalo and apprentices. The golem can only be serviced by qualified company personnel. Oh, how convenient. Anything else down here? or I think that's it. All right, let's get uh, the fuck out of here. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, I guess it was just uh, toxin. That's okay. What is it, Odin? What is it? Come here. Come here, Odin. What? I don't know what you need. What? Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, I dropped stuff. That's right. It's like, what is this? Uh. What? Oh, there's a whole pathway down here and everything. I took the long way. Or the dangerous way. Which, to be fair, danger is my middle name. Alright. Ugh! Alright, give me one sec. I think Odin wants food and he's gonna cry until he gets it. One sec, I'll be right back. I'm also gonna go check on the current jelly and grab some water.
Hey, mage. Yeah, I'm waiting patiently too. I just put them in the fridge. So later tonight, I'm probably gonna open one early. They're, they're almost room temperature, so I just put them in. Which is totally fine. Um, one of the jars, I could only fill up like a quarter, so that's probably the one I'm gonna try tonight. And I'll let the other ones sit for a few days to a week before I open them up. Um, but yeah, we'll try the other one later tonight. We'll know, um, in several hours. If we want to do like a... Oh my god, Odin. If we want to do like a, a little break in a little bit, I, mean, I, I won't be opposed to that, to try it. Okay, give me one moment. Properties, configure video. I'm just going to... I know it's probably a little early for this. I'm just going to set it to auto. Okay. I know I'll be a little bright, but it's okay. Okay, uh, save. Let's get that done. Okay. So, wait. Oh, it's over here. Now I gotta go over here. Well, what if we just go down to... Well, I'll, I'll go to that and I'll just... Yeah. Oh. oh. Sorry, guys. There's just so many of you, and I'm in a hurry. Uh, oh, over here. Okay. Logger's hut. Oh, okay. All right. This is where we fought, uh, fought our first lesson. place is quite lively now. Oh my. Yeah, you're welcome for fixing this place up for you. Neckers! God, I fucking hate those little guys. They're so... Necker warrior. Not a very good warrior, huh? Oh, a boat, huh? Well, hold on, let's see. We need to get across the water, right? Why don't we take the boat? Whoa, or we could just jump right over it. That works, too. Alright, my dudes. We're heading out. There's a lighthouse out here. I bet something interesting happens here. There aren't really any buildings that serve no purpose unless they're in town. Oh, great, a drowner. Leave my boat alone. Hmm. Now I guess we just kind of go straight. Works for me. Oh, there's a crashed ship. Search for the wreck of the flying stag. Wouldn't this be it? Ugh. 
Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna try over here. I didn't even press C to go under. Okay. Yeah, let's just wade right through. All right, what kind of scary beast is over here? Oh, okay. Save game. Let me see. So this would be a hybrid oil, which is, there we go. Yeah, basilisk. <laughs> oh, thank you for the sub, my dude. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for the subscription. Ah! Fucking die, basilisk. Thank you, Shadow Steel. Oh! Ah! No! Get back down here! Yeah, that's what I thought. Die! Thank you very, very much. Where's the treasure? Oh, corpse, huh? Oh, well. That wasn't super exciting. Oh, that's right, we had to sell shit. I haven't sold shit. I haven't sold shit? I haven't sold shit yet. Oh, holy moly. That stuff is heavy. Here, let's drop some some garbage. R R Q R R R R R R R R R R R Okay. We're probably gonna have to drop some more stuff, but that's all right. Okay. Let's see. What do we got here? It's probably gonna be under the deck. Yeah, probably. Yep, there we go. Yeah. Mage's notes. I- yes, yes, April, yes, I usually am. How are you doing, April? Kian has enlisted with the flying stag as a guard of sorts. A hefty sack of Novigrad crowns convinced the captain to lodge me in his cabin. All is going according to plan. I'm actually finding this expedition amusing. I'm glad I didn't, uh, contract the kidnapping. Um... I didn't contract the kidnapping out of some bulgy armed halfwit. I'll do it more gracefully myself. He's cautious. I won't be able to put him down with casually placed with a casually placed poison apple. Guess I'll have to zonk him with a spell and whisk him away via teleport. I just hope it won't plop us down somewhere in the middle of Temple Island instead of my quarters below it. The power pulsating from my my laboratory tends to throw off a good portion of my attempts to teleport home. Very high level resistance to psionic spells. Time, time needed for full penetration of his nervous system. A half hour at least. A few more moments and the Witcher will be ready for transport. Now I just need to wipe our tracks. Perhaps a little change in the weather. While waiting for more favorable atmospheric conditions, I looked through his listings. Some very intriguing documents. A map of S. Tyre, crafting diagrams of elven provenance. Margin note. Highly interesting sketch for a one-handed crossbow. Most likely used to hunt draconids or ornith or ornithosaurs. Must ask about this during interrogation. Confirms my theory that the witchers of the cat school use elven weapons. And, wait for it, Professor Sig... Sigismund Goler's notes. It's clear the Witcher had something to do with the famous professor's disappearance. I think I might have overdone it a bit with the co communalumbi. Communalumbi. Yeah. No point in tarrying. Time to evacuate. Well, I guess 
There we go. Cat school gear. Got it. Ah! Okay. All right. Secondary quests. Which other ones? I don't want to do high stakes. The Nithing. Skellige. I think... Do we want to stay here and do question marks? And just try to get them done and over with? There's... A lot here. And then... We can... Okay, so I think we'll go to this question mark. And then we will go to town, sell stuff. And then just like... Start doing all these question marks? And then maybe we can move to Skellige? Actually, wait, hold on. I'm just gonna plop a little right on there. Um. Oh. Is this... Oh, there's something here. Captain's log. Um. Mm. Nothing I'm really too Oh ah! That was that worked, right? I don't mind Skellige. Oh, damaged the boat. Wow, I really fucking took a chunk off. I still want to get them done regardless. Alright, I'm gonna go on the boat. I'm over encumbered, but... The boat will not be over encumbered. So... We will just... Take the boat back to over here. If I bring it to the docks... If I bring it right here and I go up, I can sell shit right here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I feel, I feel ya. I feel ya on that. It's, it's a lot. It is a lot. It's a little overwhelming. But once you start really working through it, it's not so bad, I guess. I have completed a lot of them, luckily. Let's just hope this boat can get me there, eh? When it's damaged, um, will it just keep getting damaged, or...? I hope not. Hold on, let me just make sure that I... Okay, so I want to keep going straight. I want to keep going straight and then turn in at the bay up ahead, so... I see it. I gotta go beyond that wall there. Sounds good. It's doable. I might... I mean, I just hit another boat, and it broke off a part on the opposite side, which was very strange. But we're only partially damaged. I don't really use the boats too, too often, but they seem very useful. Yes, Tonic. Yes, indeed. How you doing, dude? We be witching. Oh, man. Come on. So long as we don't hit any rocks, I think we should be okay. All these spooky birds. Okay. Let's, uh, let's hope.
Alrighty. Hopefully being over encumbered won't be too much of an issue. Yeah, it's nice. Now we gotta walk there because we're over encumbered. But that's okay. It won't take us long and then we can make more money. Which type of witcher armor do I use? I don't know. I don't really pay attention to my armor. And I guess I just kind of don't really care at this point. Oh, ew. That guy is drunk! Greetings, I appear. No problem. Greetings, Catch girl. you later. How might I be of help? Have a good one. What do you have on offer? Do you have money? Oh, you do have money. You do be having that muns. Requires level 17. Yeah, I mean. Let's get rid of you. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. 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 You, you, mm. it's okay, I'll get rid of that. Um, yeah, sell that. Is this good? Um, I'll hold on to it because they do seem pretty solid. Okay, now for weapons. Uh, yeah, I'll sell that. I'll sell that. And now he's fucking broke as shit. Let's see. Sell you. Sell you. Sell you. It doesn't have enough money. Okay. Um. Oh. Well, I will buy all this stuff. May as well, right? Wait. 90%. Holy shit. Yeah, okay. I'm basically getting them for free because I'm just selling all this stuff. Sell that. Yeah, sell that. Sell that. Sell that. Sell that. Ultimatum. Wow. But I'm gonna sell that. He doesn't even have enough money to buy the other things. Wow. Dude. <laughs> That's unfortunate. I don't think he has anything I'd want to buy, right? Mm. Doesn't look like it. Cured draconid leather. Oh, you know what? I'll I'll buy that just for it's, it might come in handy. It very well might come in handy. You know what I mean? Hey, Mikey. Boop. No, he's still... Okay, so I need to get to 408 so I can sell that, so... What do I want to buy? Maybe some gems? Just for... Just so I have them? I don't know. Yeah, how are you doing? What's up? Dark steel ingots... Flawless sapphire. Oh, those are expensive. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Those are some expensive pieces. I've been alright. I've been chilling, doing the thing, hanging out. 
Maybe I'll sell it to someone else. Do I have any other things I want to sell? Um, yeah, I could sell that. Okay, we're probably good there. Oh, wait, hold on, let me see what you got. Um, what do you have I might have to repair my armor. Ooh, actually, wait, before I do that. Great. So long. Let me go here. I think I want to replace these gloves, maybe. Let's compare. Hmm. Mmm. That's okay. It's it's not really it's not really worth the switch. Hold Greetings, Ibeer. Greetings, girls. How might I be of help? Please repair my shit. What do you have on offer? The heat's been kicking your ass. I'm sorry to hear that. I um uh, It's been all right here, luckily. Okay. But it's definitely been very hot all over the place. So long. Okay, so we sold a bunch of stuff. Alrighty. So for question marks, here, hold on. Where is the nearest one? Okay, so I will go there. Or oh, maybe I'll go here. Quest available. Let's go over there. You can just warp to it. Yeah. Or just run to it. I'm sure that won't be a big deal. Double. One hour, eh? Maybe we will warp to it. Sure, why not? Some bandits here to slaughter. Woo! Get wrecked! Get hecked and wrecked. Whoop. Yeah, give me all your food. Ooh. You shall die for what you've done. What's, What's going this on about? Here? This Dwan sold Fistech to some young elves. A contaminated batch that killed every other user. Lies. They mean to kill me, steal my gold. Help me. Please. What you sold was poison. Shame you weren't there to see the young lad and others expire amidst spasms. You, all of you, to an elf. You despise humans, seek vengeance on us. But can you fault us? Fault me for your civilization's downfall? Oh. Shut your mouth, poisoner. Need to see if this man's actually carrying any fist tag. We've done that already. Checked everywhere, even his boots. <laughs> the oh, tier three! Hardly makes him innocent. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jen. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. How you doing? Thank you so much for the tier three sub. Jesus Christ! Thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I hope you're having a fantastic evening. I'm very hungry. I'm probably gonna have- I'm gonna make bread tonight, is what I'm gonna do. And I'll have it with my jelly tomorrow. Mm. Toasted bread. With maybe a little bit of ba- a little bit of bacon fat, just for that like... A little bit of salty, sweet, yummy, meatiness. Toast that on it, put a little bit of jelly, maybe a little bit of cheese. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I make no need bread and that shit is- Awesome. Mm. But thank you so much for the tier 3 sub. Y'all, fresh bread is where it's at. 
Don't see any proof this man sold anyone Fistech, let alone contaminated powder. Can't let you kill him. Then you too shall die, Vatgen. Shame you happened on our path, and chose to stand in our way. Thank you, Witcher. Bloody elves, they'd invent any excuse to rob me. Please take this, a sign of my gratitude. Could you imagine it's fist tech? What is it? Oh, crowns. I mean, I didn't see any proof. It's true. It's true, Jet. It's not a good idea to fuck with me. Oh god, I'm getting so fucking hungry. I need something more solid than noodles. It just goes in and it goes right through me. I'm going to get myself a meat stick. And I'm going to eat a meat stick in front of you guys. Rocks are pretty solid. That's, that's very true. Alright, one sec. I'll be right back with not rocks. Yeah. Well, you better hope that that's not the joke, because I'm just gonna be fucking eating this. Thank you, Mr. E. How you doing? Oh, I already feel better. Big fuckers. I think so, Mr. E. <clears throat> Maybe. I also have a very bad memory. It feels so good to have something solid sitting in my stomach. Noodles? They just- they can't do it. Noodles cannot fill me up. Like, I'll eat them and I'll feel kind of full, but it's not the same. Oh! Sorry, Mystery. I don't always get to decide when those pop up. Uh, I don't think I have. Yeah! 
What do you want? My name's Muggs. Rostin Muggs. Need your help in a grave matter. A literal grave matter? What's this grave matter? I came here on business. Sadly, just there across the river. Toward the bridge's end, I was attacked. Smashed a bottle of the finest dwarven spirit on the bugger's skull. But the robbery was still a partial success. Tell me what you want already, and be brief. Thief ran off with my documents. Very important documents. I need you to get it back for me. Okay. It'll cost you. I don't work for free. That I know. Since the dawn of time, no witchers lifted a finger without pay. I've a smatter in the coin in the soles of my boots. Return the documents, and it's yours. Fine. See what I can do. All right. Um. Oh shit! Wait, I should have. Oh my god! It's a level two quest. I'm gonna look at them, and they're gonna die. Good thing is, is that I'll be able to smell it. Dwarven moonshine. Nothing stinks quite like it. There's the bottle. Muggs was attacked here. Let's follow that stench. Uh, oh, excuse me. In the rain, too. Over the cart? Hand oh. over the documents, thief. Me? A thief? I want him straight. I did in a game of cards. You're dumb. Not how Mug sees it. Claims he was... mugged. <laughs> we lost. Demanded them papers back. And when I refused, he walloped me over the noggin with a bottle. Barely escaped with me life. Give me the papers. You have to. Fucking fool. True. Definite. Yeah, mystery. Didn't Carl's Jr. always have like a bunch of very heavily sexualized ads? Well, found the thief who took your documents. Can't be. Let's go get him. You can hold him while I take what's mine. Slow down. See, this man said he never attacked you. Said you lost him in my cards. Ah, cheeky bastard. But like me Aunt Rosalie always say, lies got but wee legs and don't run far. The documents belong to the employer. A deed to a townhouse in Wengerberg. And true enough, I've been drinking. I've been carried away. I lost them in a game of cards. Then you whacked the winner on the head with a bottle. What was it to do? He weren't willing to give him back. When the scoundrel drew a weapon, I fled. But without them papers, I have neither gumption to show me face at home. Here, now pay up. Of course I will. Give you all I've left. Wouldn't have it any other way. Ugh. Idiocracy? Idiocracy was a great movie. Huh. And hello, Nevin. Oh my god, Nevin. I believe that. 
Dude, Jet, honestly, the last, like, five years, it's been uncomfortably similar. <laughs> Oh yeah, Paris Hilton would be totally down for that. It's a lot of money, too. It's almost all in Skellige now. I mean, I guess I could look for that one. Woo! It's fucking far. Welcome to Costco, I love you. I haven't been to Costco in a while. <clears throat> Wait, let's jump in here first. Get the sunken treasure. For sure, mystery. Come on. Uh, oh my god, let me loot them! What the fuck is happening? The hitboxes for these are atrocious. Alright, there we go. Now what? You again? Want yeah, some I... more? Bruises on your ass heel already? Oh God, I say! Victory will be mine this time. I've practiced with shield and sword. Many a headless scarecrow round here. Heed my warning and stand and fight. Duly heeded. Now show me what you got. That enough? Yes, but next time. Challenge me again. Raise your hand, draw your sword, look at me the wrong way, and I'll kill you. You so sure of that? Yes. We shall see. I've never been to a Sam's Club, but I think that's probably because there aren't any Sam's Clubs in Canada, as far as I know. But I did go to Costco for a while. They have some interesting stuff. Costco's such a cool place. Oh, I did kick his ass, but he challenged me again. And then I kicked his ass again. Dude thinks he can take on a fucking witcher. Cute. <clears throat> Alright. Time- oh. Uh, time to handle question marks. I'm doing alright. I'm chilling. Doing the thing, you know. <clears throat> uh, you know what, let's just go straight this way. Come on, Roach! Did you know, Finn? Well, congratulations. Move it. <sighs> oh, hi, spider. Hello. Oh, you're so cute. There's a spider on my window. How am I feeling? <clears throat> oh, um, I feel all right. Come on now. Oh, there's a fucking hag. I will kill you. Oh, 
pathetic. Come on, where? Aha! There's the treasure. Nice. Ugh. Yeah, I was very tired after um, the weekend, though, I will admit. <sighs> Long weekends and uh, driving back home from the cottage doesn't work out uh, to, to be very nice. Oh, come on. What should have been three hours turned into five. Get back here. Die, puppies. over. Come on. Give me your tallow. <laughs> Who knows with hags. One day I'll be an old hag. That'll be an interesting time in my life. bear. Make sure it's over quick. Uh, your brand new automatic earwax. <laughs> your old mohawk? Why don't you grow your mohawk back? I have nice tattoos. Oh, thank you. I wonder what they'll look like when I'm old. Not that it'll matter. Guarded by what? Another fucking hag. Jesus Christ. What now? <sighs> A bilge hag. Ew. like a bitch hag yeah give me your blood all right okay <laughs> maybe I don't know I don't know shit about fuck Oh, it's a kid. Kid, what are you doing hanging out here? Don't you know there's there's bitch hags out here? Doesn't Take care. It easy. Oh yeah, constantly shaving. The, yeah, I I do Gigi's hair, so I feel you on that. I have to shave uh, his head. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do stuff to the west first. You know shit about fuck? I'm impressed. <clears throat> Hybrid oil. Spider, what are you doing running up and down and up and down, you little weirdo? 
Go, go. Oops. Ah. Got him. Yeah, big birdie. That's for fucking sure. Was he guarding anything or was he just fucking running around? Is there something here? No, eh? Just just a monster. Alright, Roach. Let's go. Giddy up. Wait, let's go this way. There has to be something. Yeah, death by sword. That's something. Ah, it's fine. Maybe I will use the insectoid oil. Uh, ogroid, cursed. Woo! Holy shit, that does so much more damage. That's fucked, man. Look at that. That's true, they do say that. There's a lot of bugs over here. Oof, owie. Roach, why don't you go like 20 paces that way? So many bugs! It's pretty cool! Hey, 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 calm down. Bandai model kit? Buzz Lightyear. And Woody, nice! Oh, what? Oh! I guess I- wait, do I still have the insectoid oil? I do. Pretty sure I've- have I already claimed this one? picked this one clean though, right? Yeah, I did. Weird, but okay. Yeah, I don't know, no, no, uh, Novin. Yeah, just a big, just a big quab. That's all. Just a big quab. Uh, I know you have to, like, make, <clears throat> make them. Maybe there's some things that drop them, but I have... I've made, um, what's over here? I've made the mutagens. How you like that silver? I, necker. <laughs> Ugh! Ew. Where there's one, there's usually like a million others. What was that le necker doing out here all by itself? That's so weird. Oh well. One less pest for the road, right? Hidden treasure. Fuck yeah. Hidden treasure for me. Okay, so there's no oil on right now. Oh, fucking, oops. What is guarding it? 
Oh! Oh shit! No, never mind. Never mind! Those guys are a little beyond me. Just a wee bit beyond me. Yep, fuck that! Nope, never mind. There's a boat here, though. Nope. Okay, let's see. Let's go over there. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, pace! <laughs> Have a good one. Enjoy your shiny. Alright, Roach, you take care of them, okay? I'm getting the fuck out of here. What, guys? There were some drowned dead that had skulls instead of levels, you know? Not very friendly. This seems kind of like a nice place. Why do I have a feeling that it's probably well beyond what I can handle right now? I have a sneaking suspicion. Oh yeah, fuck this place. Let's, let's, uh... <clears throat> let's go somewhere else. <laughs> Bye! Bye! <laughs> Peace out! Okay. There we go. I thought my boat was stuck for a second. I was like, no! Let's not have it be like that, okay? How convenient that the wind just blows wherever I want it to, eh? Alright, now that we're uh, on a boat, I can make markers on my map, but they're like temporary. Yeah, fuck this island. We're gonna go back over here. Mm hmm. Yeah, you just right click and it'll make a marker. See how there's a green marker beside my mini map? That is showing me the amount of footsteps away that I am from it. But it won't give me a path to it. I gotta figure that one out myself, which is fine. Oh boy. Let's see if we can make it. Come on. Come on, come on. Come on, I just need to- I just- I just gotta- Okay, we'll run. The boating is pretty chill when you're not, you know, um, lodging yourself on the ground. <laughs> Come here, Roach! As many markers as you want? That seems pretty handy. Alright. Fucking run, Roach. Nope. Oh, they're level 34 and up. Shit. Fuck that. I'm only level 24. Up here might also be too much for me. I might have to find a different place on the map. If so, I'll just go south. It's not the end of the world. I just gotta look for some, some baddies. Oh my god, look at this view! Holy shit, my dudes.
This is beautiful. Oh, I love this. Dude, I would fucking kill to have this farm. I'd plant different stuff though, probably. Ooh, it's a vineyard, it looks like. Ooh. I like. Okay, so I gotta go back to that marker. Just wanted to see what the heck was going on over here. And now I have a, a post, so that's good. We can always come back up here if we want. Can always fast travel. Okay, time to see if this area is way out of my league. It probably is. Yep! Bye! You guys are on your own! Yep, yeah, I think, um, up here is a little beyond me, but you know what's not beyond me? Uh, this stuff. <laughs> uh, why don't we go down here and clear up this area? There's also a little quest. Odin, you're a little yucky right now, but it's okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little, a little beyond me. Oh, fuck's sake, really? <laughs> oh, what an idiot fool. Oh god, you only had trash on you too. Alright, hold on one sec. I'm just gonna go turn off the tortoise light. I will return. It's her. <laughs> um, there's no real point having it on a timer. Um, the only reason why, like, a timer would be useful is like if I had a whole bunch of things hooked up to it but if it's just one I may as well just manually do it mm-hmm like I used to use timers for my reptiles but now that we just have inverts they just mostly like it dark anyways give me one sec mm. <clears throat> okay, let's save. Now let's see. Um, yeah, fuck that but you know what I think I'm gonna do I'm gonna go over here actually so I probably I'll just take the I'll just take the horse oh 
Oh, for fuck's sake. This game's a little janky, you know? Just, just a tiny bit. Oh, no, for sure. I have timers, too. It's just, there's, uh... Oh, there's some dead people. Oh, well. It's easier to do it manually. I think this is the area with the noon wraith, right? Jesus, dude. Yeah, fuck you. Christ, man. Get fucked, for real. Um. Yeah, give me all your stuff. Give me all your things. Well, that was embarrassing for them. Yeah, I'll take your linens, too. <laughs> Why not? It does sound kind of cool. Alright, let's handle this. It's, it's pretty fucking close, so I'll just run there. That's no problem. Ooh, a little shipwreck. I was gonna say, I should be able to loot this stuff, right? Not all of it, clearly. Holy moly, there's so fucking many! Is there a nest? Okay, necrophage oil. Let's get this going. You know what I'm actually gonna do? I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna meditate. Get my stuff. Alright, so I... Meditate for an hour. Save game. Hey! I'm going right back. I'm just going in prepared. There's a lot of drowners here. Wait, I got the necrophage oil on still? Okay, good. Oh, for fuck's sakes, just get up there! Oh my god, even I could climb up there and I'm fucking pitiful. Alright, everybody. Interesting. A letter, huh? Collect the goods from the same crate as usual. If you get it to the drop-off on time, you'll get the full sum we agreed to. If you get it there no later than a week after we agreed, you'll get half. If you're later than a week, you're dead. Hugo. P.S. Don't want any witnesses. If someone notices you, kill first. Ask questions later. Oh, oops. Find the cargo using your witcher senses. Can you just like work, please? I guess it doesn't want to work. Ooh, get wrecked. 
Yeah, fuck you. Nice, nice. <gasps> Enhanced Thunderbolt? Hell yeah! Something tells me it's like down in that cave or something. Right? Things and stuff? It's pretty incredible, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, never mind. Got it all. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right. Let's, uh, bombs, devil's puffball. Okay, sure. Ooh. Northern wind. Enhanced full moon. Enhanced swallow. Sure. Oh, enhanced swallow. Fuck yeah. It was productive. It's true. Increases attack power, extended duration. Oh, hell yeah. Yes. Yo, that was that that's good. That's a good that's what that is. That's a fucking good. Enhanced Thunderbolts. 60 second, 30%. Okay, okay. Now Swallow. Ooh, it's even better. <clears throat> yeah, alright. We got that good good. Oh, I gotta turn in my coins. Okay. Oh, I don't have a trophy on the horse right now? Really? Weird. Okay, anyways, now that we've um, taken care of that, let's go see what this quest is. And then we're gonna go deal with other shit. Just call it cocaine. Um, uh, yeah, I guess moon dust is separate from angel dust. Which, if I recall, is super fucked. Yeah. Which, uh... John Vernon, remember? You saved me from the drowners. Oh, hello. The copolis, then. Now, why, my purse is bursted. Mm hmm. With coin that belonged to the refugees. Vengeance tastes sweet. I thought you'd come for your reward. I'll gladly pay, mind you. You saved my life, no two ways about it. But if you're looking for a bruising, well, you'll find it. So he's stealing. Should have left you there, tied up right at the water's edge. Well, you can't turn back time, but I'm willing to see to it your conscience don't torment you long. Oh, it won't. Wait, wait. This needs to be done properly. Superior hanged man's venom deals 50% more damage versus humans. And non humans. <clears throat> Level three. Oh. <laughs> Did you see that? I just exploded him. And I'll take your coin anyways. Oh Jesus, look at all these poor people.
Dear Mother, Everything has gone well so far. I still have a considerable ways to go to the city, but as soon as I get there, I will dispatch this letter and set about writing another. I miss you and father horribly. I am being extremely careful with the coin you gave me. I have not spent hardly a thing. Once I find employment, I will set aside an amount every week and send you my savings regularly. Tell Yolanda I love her greatly and I will send for her soon. To come and be my wife, of course. I spoke with a certain Temerian who told me there are more merchants in this city than ants in the woods, and that scribes are always wanted. I believe he spoke the truth. Yours, or your Tobin. Give Fido a good belly rub for me. Ugh. God. Or loot their poor bodies? I can't, otherwise I would. I mean, it's not like they need their stuff anymore. Uh, can't be read. Search. Oh, near Care Morhen. Oh, interesting. Oh, wait, no, we'll do part one. Part five. Ooh, Jesus. Well, looks like we got uh, Griffin School. It looks like we got a lot of shit to do, huh? I do want to do more question marks, though, before I move on. What was that adorable noise? Uh, that was, uh, that was Odin being a bum. Come here, Odin. Odin, come on. Excuse me, leave that alone. Odin. Come here. To do the thing, yeah. Well, I just fed him. Going on here. It's like a little farm thing. I just fed him, gave him water. Okay, Shell. Actually, wait, there's a merchant here. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, yo, she's, she's coughing. Get away from me. Ah, oh, he's broke. Oh, well, I can sell him my lesser stuff. Ooh, that's not bad. Here, let's get rid of... This shit. Come on, please have enough to get rid of some stuff. Alright. Boop. Boop. I... He can't afford it. Do you have anything interesting? Doesn't look like it. Twine, perhaps? Thread? Cotton. Damn it. I wonder where I get the twine for that guy with the boat. Ooh. Cur cured draconid leather. He doesn't have enough money. But if I buy the repair tools, then I should be able to... No, it's okay. I will sell those things. Plus 13. Oh god, Odin, yeah? <laughs> Poor guy. Yeah, you know, I'll hold on to mine. Those bonuses are a little bit more helpful. Okay, cool. Well, there we go. Now I've made space. We can get away from this coughing lady. So long. <laughs> okay. Oh, probably. I have some draconid stuff. I can always buy more eventually. One sec, I'm just gonna double check that he has enough water at least. Come on, kitties. Kitties.
gosh. Ugh. Um. Probably Novin, at least a little bit. Hey, Tigra. Yeah, I don't want Odin snuggling on me right now. I'm in too much pain for that. Uh, only English, please. I don't know uh, their languages. Oh yeah, I'm always in pain for one thing or another. I'll be fine. It's okay. That goes for you too, Novin. <clears throat> yeah, fuck your nest. Oh, cool. What a bugs out here. Oh, thank you for those. up if I want to get rid of the Endrigas. Endriga. <laughs> Boom. If I can't understand it, I don't want it spoken. Not to say other languages are bad or anything, I just want to know what's going on in my chat room. You know? And I do not know Portuguese. <clears throat> Portugal looks beautiful though, I will admit. The whole uh, Iberian Peninsula looks really nice. Okay, sweet. Well, I understand a tiny bit of Japanese, but, you know. Fucking weeb. Brazilian Portuguese? Oh, okay. Yeah. I wonder how much Brazilian Portuguese differs from, like, Portugal Portuguese. Is it, like, an accent thing? Oh, I hate all people, so sure. What are you? Rot fiends. Ew! Like, is it an accent thing? Are the words very different? I have no idea. Oh, fuck! Not cool.
okay. Yeah, I, I have no idea. Honestly, like, I... I, uh... I don't know enough at all about, like, Portuguese to even... know when to identify it. Most languages, actually. I, I, I don't know anything about most languages. Ooh, a draconid, eh? Doable. Uh, vampire... Draconid, green, right? Yeah, there we go. Come here! There's a suspicious amount of Japanese people on the internet. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh yeah, I know a lot of a lot of Brazilians. There we've actually made a pretty decent dent in the question marks. There's still obviously a shit ton more, but Oh, oops. I'm just going to go ahead and swim across. I know there's a boat, but... Yeah, I remember Tuck. <clears throat> He's a good dude. Always has been. You know, just press shift and you go quick. I should try that sometime. Woo! It's true. <clears throat> Being a witcher seems to have its advantages. Makes notes, it's true. It's, it's all you gotta do. Alright, what's over here? Hopefully this is something I can kill. A bilge hag, ew. They're so nasty. Ew. <laughs> Fucking die! Hold on. I'll grab that in a moment. Let's loot this. Okay. I always said Muskie was a clever pup. He understands more words than quite a few men. He can do all sorts of tricks. Sit, roll over, and if you give him a scrap of bacon, he'll even shake your hand. But today, why, he's outdone himself today. Look. And there's- or I look, and there's Musky, uh, running from the field, carrying something in his mouth. I think, maybe it's a hare, and I'll be able to whip up a stew. 
sell the fur. But no, it was a sack, all covered in blood. So, no wonder he sniffed it out. I look inside, and inside there's a key. A little one, all engraved and ornamented like it fits some fancy chest or box. So I think maybe there's treasure hereabouts. And that's what this key's for. So I think I'll go for a walk and see what I can see. If I find it, I swear to Mil Militel, Muskie's going to eat nothing but veal for the rest of his days. That blood on the sack got me a bit worried, though. But I'll take a thick club with me, so if anything pops out of the bushes, it'll get a thumping. You don't live but once, so you might as well take some risks, I always say. Oh, the dog got fucked up, too! Oh, look at that. Winds howling. I think I might have found something. Nice. Ah! Oh. Anything interesting over here? Anything worth looting? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. I did avenge the dog. I already avenged the dog. It's all good. Wait a second. Hidden treasure over there too? Looks like we're gonna be busy tonight. Ew. Foglets. Die, Foglet. Got him. Oh god, what's over here? Some level four drowners, oh god. Yucky. Mm. Someone's having a fire. <clears throat> I've stopped the bleeding. I need to collect my thoughts. I could go for help. There's a village not far. I can hear dogs barking. But people would see the uniform I wear, and they'd ask what I was doing in the, in the swamps. They'd figure it out. They'd take everything, maybe even kill me. This is Velen, after all. I've lost a quart of blood, maybe more. If the wound is still clear come dawn, I should pull through. I'll leave at daylight. Maybe then the drowners won't attack. I'll bury the treasure and head to Novigrad. Should be able to find a decent man there to patch me up. Someone who won't ask questions. Who cares if you're a deserter? All that's left of me now is to pray no one sees the tracks I left. That they don't follow the blood trail and find the treasure. But no one will come through here. I hope everything will be fine. Or no, I hope. Everything will be fine. So he buried the treasure. Hmm. Um... Oh, yeah. Boom! Got it. Master Cavalry Gear. Ah! Y'all, this is a piss-poor place to set up a tent. <clears throat> and things! Some people put hot dogs on their mustard. Y'all, man, mustard is so good, I could just eat it. Like, as gross as it may sound, like really good mustard, I could just eat. I'm just saying.
locked. Oh, hello. Oh, never mind. Evasive action. No, I'm a sorceress fucker. There's a difference. Sorceresses are a lot hotter. And they do things. <coughs> yeah, like Dijon? Fuck yeah. Dijon mustard's stellar. French's does make very good mustard. Hot dogs and mac and cheese is pretty solid. With some ketchup. Hell yeah. Oh, it's gonna rain tomorrow. I can smell it right now. Maybe it'll rain tonight? It's a bit damaged. Um. One sec. Alrighty. I'm just going to repair the stuff here. So that's 40%. 50. There we go. That should be good, right? Yeah, 90. That's good. I have a lot of repair kits on hand. Hmm. Simple enough. Um. Ew. Oh, My ew. Ugh. Fucking hate rot fiends. They're so obnoxious to fight. 
Oh, a nest. Yeah, let's get rid of this. Rotfiend nest needs to be destroyed. Oh no! Come on, stay away from me. Yeah, there we go. Oh god. Yeah, those guys are the worst. They just chase you and fucking explode. At least the rot fiends give you a chance. Got him! Ew. Alright, so that's taken care of. That will not be taken care of for a while. Um, maybe we'll go here. I'm gonna get Roach for that, though. But I'm gonna at least get onto land before I deal with that. Alright, let's put that away. If Nice. That should be good. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful. Okay. Oh. Oh, it's a bear. Oh, it's a big bear. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. That was pathetic. You know, I was thinking maybe it would put up more of a fight, but I guess not. Well, that's embarrassing. What the fuck happened What's going here? on here? Why isn't anyone putting that out? We want it to burn. Yeah. Got it. What? Piss off or we'll fry you along yeah. with a fucking elf. Um, I, I did half of them for Jelly, just in case I messed it up and I could always do more tomorrow or something. But, um, I want to let it settle. There's one that's, like, half filled. I want to I wanna try that one later tonight. But it's just settling right now. Yep. A business account? Oh, weird. I just tried Kinder, Kinder Bueno. Oh, yeah, no, the, the Bueno bars are incredible. There's a third way out of this situation. about why they want to burn you alive <clears throat> they came to rob me i refused to betray where i keep my valuables so they brought in a cart full of firewood barred me inside and set fire to the thing probably counting on you being swayed though i doubt they would have let you live even if you talked i've yet to thank you for your aid fat girl my coin lies concealed in a hollowed out stump behind the house take what you wish it's dangerous to possess too much in these times thank you Farewell. Oh. That's a shame. Well, at least she's safe now. Well, if you say take your stuff, I'll take your stuff. Stump. Stump. There's some wolves. Stump. Oh. 
Come on. Level one wild dog. Oh, hi, little man. Hello. You're so cute, little man. Just thought I would inform you. Wow. Look at all those wolves. Good. It's just fucking ugh. Rubbed her face like in my mouth. Oh, is this it? No. Wait. Hollowed out stump behind house. Is it really close? Oh, 20 crowns. Well, I did a good deed. Is it, new little guy? Boom! <laughs> yeah, it tastes pretty gross. <laughs> She's also rather dirty and greasy. I'm not too fond of uh, eating cats. Isn't that right, little moon? Ow, your little claws! Fucking ouch! Ah! Oh. Jesus, Murphy, little guy, be careful! They're all oily. All of them get oily. Woo! Hmm. Necrophage oil. You never kissed your cat. I mean, not wrong with kissing your cat, but having your cat sneak its way to rub its face inside of your mouth is a little different. But like, their mouth is yucky, for sure. The bag again? Yeah. To be fair, I do need to bathe Bing. She was looking dirty today. Have I already been here? Oh, I have been here! Oh, groids. Oh! Old oil. I'm so glad I don't have to kill the trolls. That would have made me so fucking sad. Can I talk to you? Oh, let me talk to them. Oh, for fuck's sake. 
They just wanted shoes. It's true. I had a feeling these were the shoe the shoe guys. <clears throat> Unnecessary troll deaths are not a th Oh, hello! Oh, hi, little guy! It's another spider. There are so many spiders in my house. I love it. It's amazing. That's because I love trolls! I love them. They're my friends. Trolls are friends, not roads. Yeah. It's a shame they never got the shoesies. They just wanted some shoesies. Yeah, what the fuck is going on over here? What do you want? Rejoice, for even a creature as depraved and base in nature as you can serve the glory of the eternal fire. Someone must see to the corpses on the battlefield. Necrophages defile those not already rotting in mass graves. Oh, this hi. is not right. That's to be my good deed for the day. A handsomely profitable one, I might add. I know your kind don't work for free. <clears throat> All right, I'll take care of it. This will count. He's my friend. Your merits. The more good one works in life, the more hallowed things are. Yes, splendid. Here are the holy oils. Dash generously and set alight. Understood. I wish it to flare up to the sky. For the glory of the eternal fire and all that. Once I've incinerated the bodies, where will I find you? I shall be near the bridge to Novigrad. All right. Find and burn the bodies lying in the pits on the battlefields. Yucky, but I'll do it. Wait, I need a uh, necrophage. Stinks like a grave. Now for the holy oils. Hope they do well. Okay. Ugh. There we go, that should do the trick. Uh, that guy? Yeah, I mean, you know. He just wants me to burn some bodies. Run, Roach. He'll pay me. He hasn't hurt me. But yeah, the eternal flame. Uh, eh. Eh. Not really my thing. Thank you for the follow. Like a mass grave. They found you. Nice. Now for a shot of Igni. And the other one is a uh, decent enough distance away. Come on, Roach!
Come on, Roach. Uh, it smells like rain, but it also smells like someone's having like a a bonfire or they have their fireplace going. Mm. One of the best smells. Mm. I'm done with this damn town. A priest? We'd agreed to meet as usual. Just a larger delivery. Good customer, I thought. Then they whipped out blades. Hmm. We still talking about a priest of the eternal fire? I'd say so. Beat stained pricks can't be trusted. <laughs> this one had ordered premium grade fist tech from me three times. Everything perfect. But the fourth, his man came at us with knives, sought to knock us out of trade. Hmm. Shot me in that ditch with the corpses. Must have thought the ghouls would take care of the rest. Rude. And to make sure, he hired a witcher to burn the bodies, destroying the evidence. A witcher? Meaning you? So what now? Nothing. Didn't pay me to burn the living. Oh, thank the gods it's true what they say. Though mutants, you live by a code. Oh, thank you, witcher. <sighs> <sighs> See ya. Now for a shot of Igni. Titus. Gile Gil Gilas? Gilas? Huh. Now question is, am I gonna approach the guy about this? Or do I just take the money and fuck off? It's none of my business, really. fucking screaming for Well, you ran into my horse. Well, Witcher have you completed your task? Why do you priests take an interest in the fallen so late? The Church of the Eternal Fire's first duty is to the living. You've no notion of the work we did just after the battle. The wounded needed tending, refugees, pastoral care. We had sermons to deliver, donations to collect. Oh, sounds Relieved good. to hear it. What would the people have done without you? Hmm. So, took care of the graves. Interesting, actually. One of the corpses proved to be quite, well, alive. And pretty talkative. What do you mean? Fistech dealer. One of them survived. Had an awfully interesting story to tell. Hmm. Intriguing. I would purchase this story from you. For all time. Exclusively. Oh, would you? I don't know, man. Do we do we take bribes or no? <clears throat> see you, see.
Do we take bribes? Or no? What do you guys think? Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm leaning towards I don't take bribes. Alright, fuck this guy. You can hire me, but you sure as hell can't buy me. Ah, an impasse. Well, then it will be cheapest to kill you. Oh, yeah. Three on one. Surely we'll manage, Witcher or not. Take him! You are fucking dumb. And he's level five, too. This is adorable. Wow. Can I loot you? <laughs> 200 crowns. That's all he was gonna give me? Total? Ew. Alright, fuck that guy. Mm. Oh, Skellige. Costly mistake. Right. Here, Morhen. Right. Okay, um. Let's go to this one. Where's the closest little. Uh, it's across the water, though. Let's just run here. And then we'll. Actually, you know what? Let's take care of this, and then we'll go take care of it. Move it. We'll just run clean across. It's like he didn't even notice me. Oof. Well, I can't leave the job unfinished. There's one more. Whoa, chopped off his head. All right, let's go. I'm just gonna run the rest of the way. It's close enough. We get in. There we go. Oh, a bandit camp, eh? Well, let's just make sure that my superior hanged man's oil is all caught up. few bodies here. Guess I gotta go up, eh? Aw, he fell. That means I need to go down and... Oh no, I killed the goat on accident! I'm sorry, goat. You didn't deserve that. Excuse me while I fucking suck the milk out of this dead goat's body. Oh, sweet heck.
Superior Draconid Oil? Fuck yeah! Oh, there's still a bag here. Solid. Oh, there's still more. Gotta try to be thorough. Come on. Ugh, fuck's sakes. Forget about it. Anything else down here? Doesn't look like it. Mm. Hate that. <sighs> Woo! Jesus fucking Christ, come on. Bandits don't have a whole lot of amazing stuff, huh? Just a lot of booze. Some wires, some stuff. Some skins. Not a whole lot of incredible stuff, though. stuff oh my god there's so much more but there might be something like really good like what if there's what if there's more oils here can't be too certain Is that it? Oh my god, that's not even it. There's something up there, though. He should have just stayed quiet. He could have hid, and I wouldn't have known or cared. He could have been the lone survivor. But nope. He had to cry. Locked. Oh. Doesn't really. Oh my gosh, Odin. Alright, where's the way out? There we go. Pizza with banana peppers. Oh, that sounds amazing. 
Banana peppers are so good on pizza, especially like pickled banana peppers. Oh. Yum. All right, let's get the heck out of here. Oh my gosh. Locked. Uh. Uh. Okay, I'm done with this place. Odin, please don't stand on my arm while I video game. Or just in general. Okay. Ugh. Devil's pit. <sighs> All right. Hangman's Alley. That doesn't sound very nice. Just saying. Okay, Odin. Uh. You're okay, Odin. Find the sunken treasure. Odin, you're okay. Yeah, get wrecked. Odin, you're okay. Nice. Okay, go up. There we go. That means up! <clears throat> oh my gosh. it Odin. Okay. Um I should probably sell some stuff. A merchant here might not have a whole lot in the way of money, but where'd you come from? What? Show me what you have in stock. Yeah, he doesn't have a whole lot in the way of money. That's okay though, he can buy my 
cheap weapons. Doesn't have enough. Let's see, do you have anything good on you? Not really, huh? Nails. Oil. Hmm. Lesser glyph of infusion. Interesting. <laughs> so long. All right. Let's be off. Um, I've got a black bow. May as well. Meditate until morning. Might have to meditate yet again. It's so obnoxious. I hate that I seemingly have to meditate, like... Yo, what the hell? Where is he now? back if I come back in an hour? There you are. Still not taking orders, are ya? I just... Do any of you guys know, like, what is wrong? Where'd you get the silver? Yeah? Take a look. Maybe pick something. Mm. Um. Hmm. This one's better. In a lot of ways, wow. Uh, not as good. Can he even afford any of these? Nope, he can't. Uh, let's see. Hold on. So long. Hey, cardboard fox. I like your name. I'm doing all right. My, uh... My body's giving me a little bit of trouble today. But I'm doing okay. Sure, we'll go with Igni. And... Don't want to use any of the tens. Sure, why not? He doesn't have any money, so we'll just leave it at that, I suppose. But maybe the merchant is here? Yeah. Buy in or just peruse him. Show me what you've got on offer. Hey Maria Biru. How you doing? Oh, he doesn't even have enough for that. He's got enough for this one, though. It does do more. 
damage, but this one has so much more stuff. I think I'm gonna go ahead and sell that one. <clears throat> Get that space, you know? I'm doing alright. Body's so giving me trouble today, but overall I'm feeling okay. All right, let's see. Um, actually, uh, where do I want to be going? Oh, man, we've dealt with so many question marks. I'm so happy. Oh, fuck, another one snuck out in here, huh? Let's go to here. I uh, know, I've never been to Brazil. I don't do a whole lot of traveling. I went to Germany two years ago, but before that, the last time I traveled anywhere was um, like 11 years ago. Otherwise, I've just stayed here in Canada. Let's see, is there something fucking scary up here? Probably. I'm gonna go ahead and save, and we'll see... What the fuck is going on over here? Sounds big. Oh, a cyclops! Oh, that's definitely an ogroid, right? Um... <laughs> Maybe I'll go in with Quinn. Oh, is he dead? How did that happen? Interesting. Hey, little man. Oh, nice! Yeah, Canada's alright. Ooh. Ah. Trash. That's okay. Oh, we're level 25, by the way. I should have... Oh. I should... I do have a perk point. Oh yeah, Tigra? That's cool. Mm. Oh god, I hate that. So dumb. <sighs> Red mutagens. Hmm. Alchemy. A greater red mutagen. There we go. Oh, didn't leave that alone. Hell yeah! Attack power plus 40%! Holy shit! Here we go! Hey, little guy. Oh, you are so cute. Oh. Why don't you lie down on my lap or something? Odin, you're okay. Okay, perk point. Um, there we go. Um, 
Odin, come on. This one's Little Moon. The one over there that's crying is Odin, and then Bing is over there behind in the back. <clears throat> Secondary quests. Um... Yeah, maybe we'll start with part one. We've been doing a lot of question marks. Maybe maybe we'll start doing some more side quests now. You mean Bing, Novin? Or are you trying to make a joke that I'm not getting? Because I'm too tired and autistic. <laughs> All right, let's go over here. Oh, did you? I know that feels, sometimes I'll be thinking about something and then I'll say it and it, it will just come out. Like I'll f start thinking about the next sentence I'm gonna say and then I'll say like half of the sentence I wanna say now and then the other half of the sentence like, <laughs> Halfway through it. Sometimes it's a struggle. Sometimes it's a real fucking struggle. <laughs> wow, nice yawn. Oh, you are just so cute. Yeah. Hey -ya. Get him! Come on! Oof. I love how they watch me literally fucking eviscerate people in half in front of them and they still feel like they can take me. Drabic, listen up, you stupid git. Go on keeping the treasure out for all to see like that. We won't keep it very long at all. Uh, go on keeping the treasure out for all to see like that. We won't be keeping it very long at all. What, you think we're the only bandits around? Well, knowing what a fool you are, perhaps you do. So here's me telling you, no, we ain't. So, be a good little dunce and hide it somewhere where only you and me will know how to find it again. Otherwise I'll tie on your arse till it's red as a watermelon. I will, uh, do that quest later on. First, I want to do this one. It is a little. Go, go. Shoes. I mean, you know. Those trolls needed the shoesies. And that man probably never returned to them. Is that an outhouse? So many bugs out here. The grotto. Ooh, a cave. It is fucked up. Oh, maybe there's a mark out here that I gotta find first. Yeah, definitely. It's probably right. Yep, I was gonna say it's probably right there. Hmm. Might want to look around some. Oh, yeah. Hmm. 
we go. Oh, there's more down here, though. What on earth is here? Oh, nothing? Well, that's a shame. You'd think there'd be at least a monster or something down here, you know? Oh, little moon, ow. Did you have to do me like that? Oh, you're right. Oh, to be fair, I can probably kill more than half the creatures in this game now. Psych Isle, eh? Um... Ugh, whatever. Stupid necrophages. Nobody even cares about you. There we go. Let's go. I guess it's on this island. Whoop! Bumped my mouse. Oh yeah, there's some stuff over here. The 13 wide? Damn. I have size 6 feet in women's. But I do have wider feet. Because I don't usually wear shoes, if I'm honest. So my feet have spread out. I want to look around some. I see it. You wear Crocs? I wear Converse. Really, really old Converse. Self. Small isle with ruins or bridge built on red brick. That's the spot. Traces of a camp left on the isle. I will need to dive down among the submerged ruins. Chest visible among them. I've already dealt with it. Jesus Christ. Yeah. I, uh... I like military boots. I don't mind if I have to lace them. Nice combat boots are nice. Damn, man. Whatever was here fucking fell. Fucking point blank to his tits. Sucks to be you, man. Yeah. Okay. Actually, wait, Jay. 
Ah, Isle of Mists. Yeah, no. I'm gonna leave that. Second... Nope, nope. Secondary quests. Witcher contracts. Treasure hunts. Part 5. Yeah. Hidden from the world. Yeah, I'm gonna go for that one. Now where is it? Way the fuck up there. Alright, well let's go back to Fike Island. Oh, thank you very much for the follow. Thank you, thank you. Let's go back to Fike Island, teleport up there, get whatever this thing is. And then maybe we'll go to Skellige. Change shit up a little, you know? We've been here for a long time, doing all sorts of quests and... and, uh, question marks and stuff. I'm up for a little change of pace. Ugh. Ugly, ugly, ugly. That's true. We have done all sorts of grand things. <laughs> there will be stuff and things and tit piercing in, uh, in Skellige. If anything, maybe more. Yeah. Like, is it weird? Obviously, I can't tell you guys my last name, but it's it's all it's boring. Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't think I have my real name anywhere on the internet. But there's a lot of other people that have my name, which is convenient and nice. <laughs> I think it's time to go to Skellige. Yeah, mine <clears throat> is common enough. <laughs> Talk to Lothar. Will do. You know, I, I wouldn't think that my name is that common. Because it's so weird, but... It is. Apparently. Looks like rain. Oh, does it look like rain? Thank you, Geralt. It's how perceptive. Oh, pfft. No idea. <laughs> the Duchy of Tresaint? Wow! Care Morhen. Yeah, I'm not related to the people that share my name. 
as far as I know. The curse that held Uma proved hard to lift. Uma, 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 Uma. Yennefer and the Witchers managed to do it. The ugliest man alive revealed himself to be not man, but elf, and an elven sage at that. Avalok. No, Novin, that's how yours is pronounced, was remember? The elven mage who had helped Ciri flee the hunt, then hidden her away on the Isle of Mists. <laughs> Shh, not supposed to tell people my last name. If you can't take what you put out, then, uh. Oh no, he agrees. He came up to say, yeah, what mom said, and then he ran off. He's a mama's boy. Um. No, he's got food. He's got all the food he could want. The bowl is full. Oh, hello. There's so many moths on the window. He's actually not a food-driven cat. Bing is. Odin's not. Odin doesn't care about food. Like at all. Like, he'll eat some food when I go pee or something, but... Mm. Yeah, he'll sniff kibble, and then he'll eat a little, and then it's fine. But like, I could have a steak. Like, I could have a medium rare steak. He'll sniff it, and he'll be like, ugh. And then he just sort of, like, fucks off, you know? He, he really doesn't care about food. Especially people food. I'm very lucky. Bing, on the other hand, will fucking eat salt and vinegar chips. Yeah, then there's Bing. Actually, you know what, though? Odin does like one people food. He really likes Doritos sweet chili heat. And it's not like I go out of my way to feed my cats chips. I really don't. But one time, well, many times, but the first time he sniffed inside the bag of sweet chili heat Doritos. And you know when cats like follow it, we're like, like, oh my God. Uh, yeah, I've never seen him act like that ever. Never. Also, why is this not loading? This is taking so fucking long. Mm. Like, it usually takes a while, but... Uh, around the campfire. It smells like a campfire over here. Maybe someone just has like a a little bonfire going on. Hmm. Oh. Exactly, Tigra. Exactly. Oh my god, little moon, don't start with me, please. Honestly, Novin, I think you're right. I know we're going to another area, but like, oh my fucking god, this is taking so long. Hi, Osiman. How you doing? Uh, this is taking a very, very long time. It's been a, it's been like two minutes now, something like that. Yeah. I'm hoping it's not a cr I feel like the game crashed. Alt F4 to end process. Yeah, I could I could control Alt control delete. 
Let me see if it's responding or not. Task manager, is it not responding? Yeah, Witcher's not responding. Great. And task. It's okay, I saved fairly recently. Hey! Why are you being so mean? You don't have to be so mean. The curse that held uh, uh, um, 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 uh. But Yennefer and the witchers managed to uh, uh, it's what I was gonna do anyway, Snowbin. himself to be not man, if it took too long. Elf, and an elven sage at that. Avalach, Great minds think elf, alike, that's all. Was the elven mage who had helped Siri flee the hunt. Then hidden. I'd Novin then, fuck you. <laughs> All right, give me one sec. Let's hope. Find the hidden goods. Oh, ah. that was. Oh, oops. I killed something. Oh my god. Uh, I don't want to have to get on, Roach. Well, at least I just have to go on top of this hill. Fuck them. I'm just going on top of the hill. Collecting my goods and then going right back. Not so fast, Roach. There's a box. There we go, now I'm all caught up. Now, let's see. Secondary quests, the thing. All right, let's hope. Just work, please. The curse that held him up proved hard to lift, but Yennefer and the witchers managed to do it. The ugliest man alive revealed I know, I got a lot of stuff and man, things. But elf, and an elven sage at that. Avalach, for this was his Okay, name. go pet your dog. The elven mage who had helped Siri flee the hunt, then hidden her away on the Isle of Mists. The Isle of Mists. Okay, Novin. All right. There should be someone I can sell some stuff to here. Hello. Greetings. Greetings. Mind if I have a look at your herbs? You have anything cool? I've got a lot of stuff. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I'm holding on to it. <coughs> Uh, actually, wait. Hold on. Mind if I have a look at your herbs? There's probably a couple things over here. Uh, no, not there. Huh. Hmm. <sighs> ah, we're good. See you. Fairly well. Fairly well. Yeah, I've still got enough space. I should be okay. A messenger? Goodness. In this world, you probably don't want to see a messenger rolling up to your town. Oh! My 
mind if I interrupt? Nay. My prayers are in vain anyway. Here you're having trouble with a curse. I, I am. Look, see it lying there. A horse head on the pole? That's... A nithing. Kind of curse, seen as before. They're nothing to scoff at. Can bring misfortune, even death. Yeah, right. Alistair? And the name carved upon it is Tialva. My firstborn. I was feverish. I was weaker by the day. I fear I'll bury him before the next moon. I tried to lift the curse myself, but... No luck. I can help you. One of two ways. First, I can try to convince whoever put up the Nithing to lift the curse themselves. Second, I can deflect the curse back on whoever cast it by writing their name on the shaft. Either way, need to know who's behind this. But I don't trouble no one. Don't know a soul who'd wish it upon me. Mm -hmm. Guess I gotta investigate. That's fucking rude! A nithing. A powerful curse. Name carved on the shaft. Tialva, son of Lothar. Trails fresh. Hmm. Might want to look around some. Trails fresh, huh? Hmm. What is this? Woman's shawl. Distinctive pattern. Distinctive smell. Distinctive smell. Oh, I'll find it. Let's follow the scent trail. Oh, thank you for the follow. It's clearing up. Hmm. Who could it be? Imagine having a sense of smell this fucking good. Too many scents. Can't follow my nose any further. Need to ask around about the shawl. You, Odin? Thank you, Jeff. Oh, no, no smells are worth smelling. Trust me, I know. Where should I look for your son? East of here. It's the ruins of the fortress. He went there. Oh, Alistair. Yeah, Pharaoh. no. Met him at the tavern. They filled his head with nonsense about some treasure. I said, Sonny, Pharaoh folk are liars to a man. You shouldn't fraternize with them. But he knew better. How'll I recognize him? All I know is he doesn't listen to his father. Pretty typical for his age. His name's Olve. A cheerful lad. A bit of a lisp. Nothing special about his looks. Except last I saw him, he was wearing a yellow tunic. Lovely. None other like it in the village. Got it from me a year back on his birthday. That ought to do it. I'll look around. No promises, though. Not bad as steel goes. What do you seek, traveler? You've come a long way. Yeah, I have. Right. What are you looking at? I just wanted to ask you a question. No, I will not take you with me. Like it here. I do like it here. Greetings. Looking to buy? Uh looking to sell, actually. Show me your wares. I don't mind the smell of fish, to be totally honest. I, I, I really don't mind. Show me your wares. Show me your wares. Show me your wares. Show me your wares. So long. Greetings. Looking to buy? I love duck. Show me your wares. I... I honestly. I, know you're Stay there. Sure, the black I like it here. I do like it here. What? 
Well, then don't walk into me, you dumb bitch. Of course, it would be a blonde woman. Greetings. Greetings. Oh. See ya. Fare thee well. What a sneeze. I know your kind. Well, who the fuck then? So bloodless. Look at this beautiful home. Oh my gosh. What did I think of that? That's a beautiful home. Who the fuck am I supposed to- <sighs> Well, maybe if you would actually sell me your shit, I would buy it. Oh, I love rice. And I love the way it smells when it's being cooked. I just- I love, love rice in general. Good shit. This is fucking lovely. I love it. Something I've always wondered. What do you witchers do once there are no basilisks, lesions, or giants around? Eh? Oh, we go somewhere else where there are. Parsley and ramen. And, yeah. Hey there. I'm busy. <laughs> what are you spitting at? That's the way to win respect in God, you know, I feel like I've talked to everybody. You're not that scary. Greeting. I know I'm not. Seek adventure elsewhere. A witcher. I. What did you need? Oh, here we go. <clears throat> no chance you know who wore this shawl. Of course. Yona, our herbalist, lives there in that hut. Oh, she'll be pleased you found it for her. Yeah, real pleased. Oh. Oh, Jonah. Found your shawl near Lothar's house by the night that you put up there. How did you know? Had a hunch. Thanks for confirming it. You know Tjelv has got one foot in the grave. Good. That bastard should never have been born. The Me, I was to be Lothar's bride, but he cast me aside for that flounder. Getting his comeuppance now. Him and that whole plowing family. Are you fucking crazy? You'd kill a child out of jealousy? Are you serious? It is not jealousy, but dignity that matters here. Ten years we lived side by side. Ten years I cooked for him, washed his breeches, shared me bed. He abandoned me with nary a word. The whole village laughed. Stupid bent Yona let herself be had. No, I have not been had. I want you to lift the curse. I mean it. Fine, I'll do it. But I've my terms. Lothar's to renounce his son and come back to me. I'll be sure to tell him. But I think we both know what his answer will be. Wow. What a skeevy fucking. I mean, I feel bad for her, but like, that's a skeevy bitch thing to do. Although I will admit it's probably pretty fucking embarrassing everybody in the town knowing all that. That is unfortunate. Ugh, this is just a bad situation. I don't know, man. So, 
you know who placed the knife in? Old friend of yours, Yona. <sighs> I would have guessed. Jealous bitch. Can't stand to see others happy. So, will she lift the curse? Yeah, sure. All you gotta do is renounce your family and go back to her. Nay. Never! My, my son. I'd strip him of honor. Condemn them to poverty. You've gotta break the spell, Witcher. Let her die! You might deserve to be punished, but not this way. Fine, I'll do it. Thanks be to the gods. Oh. Don't bring the gods in. Hey, I'm pretty uh this is between two human I'm beings. I'm pretty far into it. In the actual like main story, I um I'm almost at the end. Soon, and Yona will die. Thanks, Witcher. A thousand times over. My son's dearest of all to me. I couldn't abide it if he died. Your reward. Yen. Will you eat with us before moving onward? No. Not in the mood. They watch you from the shelves. They both suck, but like. He's moved on. He's got a family. She has not moved on. She's jealous. She put a fucking curse to murder his innocent son. It's pretty rude. Yeah. And you know, uh, most people tend to like Triss, but the way I look at it is if you like Triss, then I'll have Yennefer and you can have Triss. And it works out well for both of us, you know? That's how I feel. <clears throat> it is rude. No, I'm on his side, 100%. He cast her out into poverty, the same thing he did. <laughs> I mean, now she can pass on in peace. Wait. Wait. Yeah, I think she's already gone. Um... They're gonna need a new herbalist in town. I'm just saying. Wait, does she have anything that I can take from her hut? I may as well. Doesn't look like it. Look at this, though. Look at all the garlic. All the herbs. Oh, man. Food. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Sporlug. Thank you. Saris. Oh boy, here we go. Alright, Saris. But first, let's sell some shit. What brings it to me? Uh there we go. Wouldn't mind a look at your wares. <laughs> Alistar. Oh, I like that. Oh my god. What a name. What's this one like? Uh, uh you know, I I prefer the one I have.
Oh, wait. <gasps> Ooh, I can... I can... We Ooh. Ooh. Armor piercing, critical hit... Oh, nah. I'm gonna finally sell it. That's okay, fuck it. Question is, can he even afford all the other stuff I have? Probably not. Oh, he could buy this. Wait, that's three pounds. Fuck, eh? Do you have anything I can buy? How about maybe some repair kits? Oh, fuck. Honestly, repair kits are always worth buying. Especially if you're trying to sell some shit. Yeah, fuck you. Uh, sell... Good enough. For farewell. I'm gonna equip that farewell. fucking weapon! Hell yeah! Fuck yeah, look at that! Yes! My first piece of Witcher gear! Hell yeah! Alright, 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 alright. A steel Witcher sword. Cool. That is true, Weaver. That is very true. Okay, now that I have my first Witcher gear, I'm gonna put on some good stuff. Whoa, that's expensive. I think I'm gonna wait for late game weapons, like late game weapons, before I start adding these really good things, though. Um, three percent chance to stun. Armor piercing. Ooh. Oh, sign intensity in general. Damn. Freeze. Bleed. Twenty armor piercing. That could come in handy. Three percent attack power. So so far it has chance to stun, armor piercing. Let's do a burning. <sighs> Damn. Let's go with that. Nice. There's also a notice board here, which I will absolutely claim. Oh, I would be an elf. <clears throat> I'd be okay with that. I would just feel a little bad about, like, outliving everybody that I know. We'll be done in a moment. And then, a giant sea snake swam up and bit my arm off. The gods have spoken. A sacrifice is needed. To my mind, it's about you defeating a snake, Yar. No. They demand a sacrifice. I'm sure of it. It's time. We must <clears throat> wait for a clearer sign. At least till your next dreaming. I don't need no more signs. Um. <clears throat> Looking for Ceres. Heard she stayed here. On Crate's daughter. Aye, she was here. Where is she now? Hmm. What? Yeah, Alistair? Ceres. Galadriel? Ceres? Dunno. Dunno. Enough of the questions. Oh, thank you, Jeff. I say something wrong. You must forgive the Jarl. 
Hasn't been feeling well of late. Is he sick? He didn't seem quite right during Croc's feast, but... Forgive me. I must go to him. Where's Ceres? I've got to find her. Uh, I don't know. Ask around. Great. <laughs> Remember when that storm caught us in Old Bay? Aye, like it were yesterday. Ofcom fell overboard and near drowned. Hmm. in the waves and saved them. Vagabond. You just call me a vagabond. Pardon, I'm looking busy here, can't you see? Uh. What can I do for you, traveler? Can you trim my hair? Wait, it is now it gets in my eyes. Oh, thank you for the follow. Um, I don't know. Do we do we do it? I'd like you to style my beard. I'm not gonna do clean shaved. The elven rebel cut. It's long and loose. Is that what I have? He just took it out of a ponytail. So long. Oh, that's weird. Oh, I don't like that. What can I do for no. you? No, 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 no. Can you trim my hair? Wait, it is now. It gets in my eyes. What do we do? Can we just? Can I just do short hair? What the fuck is the Elven Rebel cut? I need to look this up before I spend the money on it. Okay. Witcher 3 Elven Rebel Cut Images Um No, I don't like that fan of the elven rebel. I don't know. Shaved except for a ponytail. That sounds terrible. <laughs> Elf puns will give me your hair. Leap of faith? Nah, man. I don't fuck around with my hair like that. Alright, you know what? Fuck it. Loosely gathered tied behind my head. Let's just go back to this. This is, this is what I'm used to. Yeah, that's good. So long. You did a good job. There you go. So long. <laughs> Yo, can I give you money to put my hair in a ponytail? Who's that? Nah, I'm just very fucking picky with how I like my men to look. I'm old enough now that I know what I want and I get what I want. Head of a giant on your mouth. <laughs> Uh oh, fucking looks back at her book. Yeah, all right. Readings. Ha! Nary a soul for months. Then one day, guests from afar start dropping like rain in springtime. You weary traveler, hungry. Looking for Ceres, Jarl on Crate's daughter. 
guy you found her, or near to. Last was just here. Know where she might have gone? Took an interest in our yarn. Asked about his childhood. So I told her to see Berg Thora and Eirik. Who are Berg Thora and Eirik? Years ago, Eirik was close with the old Jarl. Was the Jarl that helped him win Berg Thora's hand. They lived toward the east end of the village. Alright. Oh, thank you. Take care. Bless you. And a bless you. To Sarah's when you see her. Uh. Sorry to interrupt. You need something? Come, let's have a pint of that chat. Thanks, but I'm short on time. Looking for a girl named Ceres. Quack on Crate's daughter. <laughs> she was here, but I've not seen her away. Uh. Take care. Could you tell a truth? Greetings. I'm looking for someone. <laughs> Lucky chap you are then. Truth be told, I'm taken. But village is brimming with lovely girls. You lovely as say, can I meet him? No, I'm taken I'm too. For Ceres. The skinny thing. Lovely do eyes, true, and she's from an honorable house. But the lass is gone as a sapling. I don't know where she is, and her father. Ugh, tell Crack to calm down. No skeleton lass can perish in her own eyes. Is that so? Oh, right. She was here a few hours. Went to find me man Ira. Needed to talk, she said. They should be on the beach, t'other side of the island. Thanks. Take care. Good luck. Here we go. I'd marry a woman that loved me and only me. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. I wouldn't want to be with someone that loved other people. <laughs> Not into the whole Polly thing. What if she loved her pets too? Oh gosh. Um. I mean, that's different. Hopefully, that's different. Um. <laughs> Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Drowners. Ugly bastard. Sitting on that rock crying for help. Ah, but if not for me warning, you'd be herring bit about now. Thanks for your help. Did it once, maybe you can do it again. Well, I'll have to think about it. Busy the day me fishing got nets to mend. No time to fight monsters. It's not drowners this time. It's Ceres. I'm looking for her. Aye, fine looking girl. Can tell right away she's from a good clan. I left her sitting right here when I sailed out to bring in the morning catch. She say where she was headed. Uh, wouldn't tell a stranger, but we did risk our hides together. Went to Odeldrick's old family home. Yonder on the hill. Any idea why she came here? She say what she was after or just admire the scenery? Just about our Jarl and his family. <clears throat> Thanks. Farewell. Maybe I can track her? Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. I fuck if I know. I just wanna- oh, fine, I'll take the road. Silly mountains. Oh, 
All these goats making fun of me because I can't fucking run up walls like they can. rabbits look real fucking scared. They just keep spawning! Oh my gosh! Ever a dragon? Not yet. Well, probably. Man, I have a craving. Fresh footprints. Could be Ceres's dam. Something seriously wrong. Ceres. Passed out. Gotta get her out of here. What a dumb idiot. What am I gonna have to fight now? I got a craving for salt and vinegar chips. What? What happened? Where am I? Oh, my head. Pain's just awful. Got hit with something heavy. Kurt? Why are you here? Came to look for you. Croc's worried. Taking you home. I won't go until I help Ulrich. The sword. Where's the sword? I've, I've got to go back. You're not going anywhere. I carried you out of there a moment ago, half dead. I have to! You have to tell me what's going on. Why'd you go in there? I wanted to help Udelrek. Sure, he was acting strangely, but I don't see how your stroll through a haunted house will help him. It would have, if I'd only found the sword. So what's this sword all about? It's Brokvar, the ancestral sword of Udelrek's clan. I needed to lift the curse that holds Udelrek. A curse? Long story. Years ago, Udelric and his little brother butted heads over the sword. As custom has it, the clan's sword should go to the firstborn son, Udelric. But his father gave Bokvar to his little brother, Aki. Oh! Serious insult in these lands. Serious enough for Udelric to break a sacred law here in Skellige. He openly questioned his father's decision. Thank you for the follow. The old yard Bend over. Pass. They chained Udelric to a pile up to his waist in the sea spent three days like that when his punishment ended he and Aki sailed out to fish did he kill Aki got a feeling this trip didn't end happily your feelings right there was an accident oh an accident a storm broke out and Aki fell overboard Udelric had his hands full with the sails he didn't hear his brother until it was too late oh is that uh, is that what happened the had the same doubt, but none would mention it aloud. What do you think? Did Udorik kill Aki? I don't want to jump to any conclusions. But I do think whatever happened at sea that day, well, it's affecting Udorik right now. Powerfully so. And it could have something to do with the sword. What did you plan to do with the sword? I thought Aki's ghost would want it back. The brother's ghost? Long as I remember, folk have said Udorik's the chosen one. The one the gods speak to. I believed it once, but now, considering certain things, I think he's just haunted. And it's his dead brother that's haunting him. Could be. Daring theory. Not breaking any of your laws just by thinking it. Don't care. I don't believe it's the gods talking. Have you seen him? He's covered in scars. Thought he earned those in battle. If you call the strife in his heart and head a battle, I've asked him about it. He said the voices command him to hurt himself for the glory oh. of the gods. Yeah, he's a little twisted. I think not. It's not the gods. It's Aki. So you believe Aki's getting his revenge because Udelric let him die? I've talked to Yort. He swears Udelric didn't start hearing voices till after Aki's death. Yeah, that makes and sense. And I don't think Yort's mistaken. He knew both those boys from the cradle. I think we have to give Brokvar to Aki and he'll leave Udelric alone. Not a bad idea, on condition it's a ghost we're dealing with. A 
that something doesn't add up. Hmm. What's that? Aki drowned at sea, said so yourself. But the ghost haunts this house. Aki and Uthoric both lived here. Maybe that's why. Thanks for your help, Geralt. But I've got to get the sword. Out of the question. I'll get it. Really? Thanks. So I can go see Uthoric? No chance. You're weak. Might pass out again along the way. Wait here, we'll go together. If you fucking leave, Saris, I will cut your hair off. I'm not fucking playing with you. Okay? Okay, so it's not oil. Thank you. Yeah, this place is fucking cursed. cellar door. Yep, it's down there. Key required. What the fuck? Maybe the key's up here. Oh. 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 That was incredibly anticlimactic. It was red and everything. Oh, but there's an upstairs. Is there a key in here? Black magic doll. Oh. Something down there I gotta pick up. There's really nothing else, huh? This is so weird. Maybe outside there's a key? a cliff and there's really nothing down over here for fuck's sakes that's so weird it's definitely down there where the bloom and fuck could it be Oh, there's some cursed ass shit going on down here. What is this about? <sighs> it's a pretty cool place. Wait here. 
found it. <clears throat> Let's go. After you then. After you then. Yeah, yeah. You were mates once, right? We still are. But well, I heard you fell out over something or someone. Talking about that story with Yennefer? Long time ago, that. In fact, that was before Croc met the woman who'd be your mother. That you and Yennefer had already met? <sighs> uh, things were never cut and dried with Yen. What is it about her? What is it that draws you? Dunno. Maybe, uh, it's because I've never chosen comfort and ease, the calm and the quiet. Yeah, that sounds about right. She let you come here alone. What do you mean, let me? Nothing, not a thing. Just got the impression she doesn't like to let you out of her sight. Oh, oh, oh. look, there they are. Horridly bright out here. Stings the eyes. The fresh air will do you good. The gods won't be pleased. <clears throat> Jarl, our guests, remember. What happened to your hand? Uh. I sacrificed it to the gods. Forgive him, Jarl. Geralt's got more to learn about our customs. We're close to the gods in Skellige. And the chummier you are, the greater the offering you make. Oh. It's our belief that the greatest thing a man can offer is his pain, his suffering, a pure sacrifice. To hear the gods is a gift, not a sacrifice. These voices you hear. The gods, their voices. More likely, this is somehow related to your dead brother. I told Geralt of Aki. We concluded that... That the gods are angry at you, yet he's the reason. That's why you have to apologize to Aki himself. I... I didn't want to. Aki fell in the water. I... The gods will be angry. The gods are already angry. Let me help you, and I promise to do everything I can to keep from angering the gods. Heed the Witcher Jarl. Make amends to Aki, and you'll surely please the gods. What would you have me do? Remember where Aki fell in the water? Near the Isle's eastern end, by the mouth of the bay, current had swept us towards Olyla's Needle. It's a dangerous spot. Treacherous eddies swallow a handful of sailors each year. We need to sail there. Aki's ghost won't rest until Brockvar's returned to his remains. No. No, no, no. The gods, they'll be angry. I feel it. Fear not, Jarl. The gods love you. And they loved Aki. Surely they want this. Yep. Well, Maybe I can sail there. <coughs> the sword should be returned. That's what matters. Makes no difference by whose hand. Except it probably does. What do I look for? Did Aki have anything that'll help me recognize him? Something he was wearing right. that could survive all this time underwater? Aye. Our clan ring. That ought to be enough. I'm off. Killing a giant! Yeah, Ceres, you stay there. You know, she wants to be the ruler, but I don't really I don't really think she has it in her. She has it in her heart, but like it takes a lot more than a heart to be a fucking leader. It's 
go out to this island, deal with whatever the fuck is there, and then swim out to where Aki drone. Kalmar? Yeah, I, uh... With the giant? Yes. Yeah, I killed the giant. to that eventually. Must be the place. The crooked mast marks the spot, but not just any fool can find the treasure. It's a good thing I am the fool of fools. All right, let's save. It's probably been a while. 45? Oh yeah, it's been a little bit. Woo! Come here, Siren. Oh. Oh. Here, I should probably go up, get some air, come back down. There we go. Ah, oh, that's tragic. Picked clean. Hopefully we go back and he stops, like, cutting himself. It's kinda... Kinda not good for ya, you know? Look at all these guys. His eye. What? Why do you do it? Such was the will of the gods. A sacrifice for Aki. What did the gods want exactly? Do you remember? What did they tell you? They were angry. An eye for an eye. A voice said, You vile wretch. You didn't help Aki, and now you failed to sail out to beg his forgiveness. Poke out your eye, suffer, and regret the evil you've wrought. When did the gods speak to you? Right after I left? Shortly after. Sleep came over me, so I lay down. Twas then they revealed their will to me. The you fuck kind of drugs to you? are you on? Always. What do you see then? Do they try to summon you anywhere specific? My old home. They command me to light torches, then speak from the shadows. The gods ever show you their form, or are they always just a shadow? Once, I steeled myself, gathered my courage, and in my dream made my torch burn bright. I saw a hazy figure sitting in shadow then. 
The gods speak from the shadows, you said. Is that why Maybe you don't know any lights in here? In my dreams, at times I see their form when the torches burn bright. To see the gods is a great honor. Maybe with more light in your house, you'd see them when you're awake as well. Lesser men are unworthy. They cannot gaze upon their faces. The gods always demand you offer them your suffering. Only that pleases them, so they ask for more and more. Oh, he is Go possessed. The sword, but nothing's changed. It's not his brother's ghost that haunts him, tortures him. What's wrong with him? I saw his shadow. Can we talk somewhere in private? The guest room. Come. Yeah. That, uh... That's a fucking demon. Of sorts. Well, know what it is? It's a Heim. A post-conjunction creature. Very rare and very dangerous. It latches on to men who commit vile deeds. Hmm. It feeds on their pain for years, fueling their guilty conscience. In the end, Heims force their victims to mutilate themselves. Sounds unpleasant. Any way to defeat it? Hmm. Two methods that work. In theory. Hmm. Witcher's beast juries say you have to spend a night in the Heim's lair with the affected individual. The haunted house, you mean? It's hardly cozy, but I wager you slept in worse conditions. <clears throat> it's not about sleeping. You've got to draw the Heim out. It has to emerge from the shadows, show itself. Can't hurt it otherwise. Hmm. And it's sure to give as good as it gets. You've seen Udalric. It won't be an easy fight. What's this other way? They say a Heim can be tricked. You have to pretend to do something horrible. Then it'll move on to you as its new mm. victim. When it realizes it's been tricked, it'll be forced to leave. Great. Let's try it. Don't know anyone who's pulled it off. Then maybe no one's thought of a trick that was good enough. I know you're doubtful. But we should at least try to find a way to trick the Heim. Might not be as simple as it seems. Besides, neither method's perfect. Mm. What do you mean? Udalric might not survive an entire night in the Heim's lair. You think the Heim... Would it try to kill Udalric? No, that would mean losing its host. But Udalric could just... expire. He's weak, and the house will summon painful memories. Whereas to the Heim, that'll be an opportunity. The more pain the Heim causes Udalric, the stronger it'll grow. And the more dangerous it will be to you? Hmm. And what about the other method? The Heim's a demon, and demons are notoriously hard to fool. Plus, the trickster can't know it's a trick. What? The Heim attacks those who have a guilty conscience, truly believe they committed a foul deed. The Heim strengthens their regret and feeds on it. Damn. Meaning, if the new host doesn't feel true sorrow, the Heim will sense that. Well then let's bring him to the house. Yes. So, for this to work, if either of us has an idea, we can't tell the other one about it. Exactly. Both methods seem risky, but I still think we should try the trick. Don't know that I'm convinced. Mm. Just please don't tell me you have to consult Yennefer on such things as well. If Yennefer would probably be good at this. Anything, we can always try the Witcher's Way. Trying the trick can't hurt. Good decision. Haunted house. The Heim's lair. Only place where anything like this could work. After you, then. The fuck are we gonna do? No reason to delay. Mm. An old bread heart. Should still work. 
So long as carrion crews haven't made their nest in a chimney. You could just fucking set them on fire. Siri. No, it's impossible. Damn it. Looking to discourage me? Good. Means you're scared. Fucking bitch ass! Shattered. Udelric must have been scared of seeing the creature just behind him. Cradle. An old cradle. Must have belonged to Udelric or Aki. Get out! Come up with anything? Yes, I have a plan. One that just might work. Can I get any details? You've got to wait for me here. I won't be long. Uh, anything else? Said yourself, you can't know the details. So no, nothing else. You simply gotta trust me. Hope you know what you're doing. So do I. Oh, I don't mind it at all. I'm ready. All right, I'll be back soon. In the meantime, get a fire going in the oven. Wait a second. Why are we lighting a fire in the- are we putting a bun in the oven? She's running to the old house! Grab her! Taken. You must put him in the oven. Trust me. Take care not to hurt the child. Give me the bait. In the oven. Throw him in the oven! Oh, there's a protective spell! I see! The Witcher committed no crime. You'll find neither despair nor guilt here. Only shock and relief. You've been tricked. You must go. It's over. Over? We tricked the Heim. It thought I'd killed your child, abandoned you to haunt me, feed on my conscience. But when it saw the babe was whole, unharmed, Hi. it had to go. Hello. You're free, Jarl. Free? The Heim's gone. So are the voices that tortured you. Let's get out of here. Go on, little guy. I don't want you on my hand right now. It's okay. Happening. There you My go. My head's spinning. I'm spinning in a maelstrom. Little baby spider. You said it was over. That's just fatigue. In time, his mind will return to normal. What? What will I do now? 
You'll be fine. Key is to not give in to self-pity. I feel as if someone's torn something from me. That's normal. The Heim was a parasite. Bonds between parasites and hosts can be strong. That's why you feel empty now. <clears throat> give it a few days, weeks, you'll be fine. Thank you. I think. Farewell. Yeah. People mistake my knee for my cat all the time. He seems confused. Good idea. Then what? What are your plans? I'll stay a few days, make sure he's healthy. And you? Gonna stay on speaker rock? <laughs> Don't know yet. Gotta gather my thoughts. I'm sure Yennefer must be grown impatient. What is it with you and Yennefer? Mentioned her several times already. <laughs> Nothing. I've just noticed that you're often of one mind. Saying I'm henpecked. Not that you're especially different. Seems to happen to all men. Take a rowdy Skelliger, a brave knight, or a tough witcher. You all end up wrapped around some woman's finger. Though I will admit you're not all bad. You trusted me, a complete stranger nearly. Few would have had the courage. Appreciate it if you didn't tell everybody in the aisles. I'll think I enjoy being dominated. <laughs> Farewell, Geralt. I mean, you, I, I think you kind of do. Winds howling. So bad. I don't know who I would prefer on the throne. Woo! May your rocks never crumble. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Witcher 3 can be calming, can also uh, be interesting. Alrighty. I guess I may as well do that. The music is great. I love it. Let's save. Oh, what? How about now? Can I save now? Ah. Uh, huh. Master Geralt. A guard spotted you from the tower. They sent me to open the gates. Why was it closed? Is that famous Skellige hospitality? Me. It is tradition. After the feast, the Jarls will choose the king, so the doors must remain closed. Only the sons and daughters of Skellige may stay in the castle. Krach, make an exception just for me? All know what you did for Ceres and Yalmar. Today, you're one of us. Come. Krach awaits. How's the mood in there? Yeah, this game is great. It's my first time playing Come. it. I really Come. love it. How's that? We've an adage here at Skellige. At a good feast, meat and blood flow in equal measure. Surely you consider this barbaric on the continent, no? Not sure. Sounds preferable to dull banquets garnished with court intrigue. Yeah, I would love to go to a fucking Nordic feast. That'd be so fucking amazing. I right, as you did. And I'd expect you to support me. Don't pinch my allies. If an aunt craves to wear the crown, it should be you. Cause you've got fur growing on your chin, that it. Show some of your own, and the arms just might listen to you. What your mug smacked? Remember, I was left standing last time we crossed fists. <laughs> yeah? So you'll fight the Vilkarns with me? Wonder who'll do better? You? Or Yalmar, the giant slayer? Oh, stop your shit! 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's my first time playing a Witcher game. I love it. Bad way to play it out. Think I don't know that. But you saw she saw Meat and chicken. Oh stubborn, fierce, mule headed. Refuses to listen to anyone. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> True, Arnvald. Me and Ceres, and they're twins in that regard. Don't see crap. You talking to the Arls? No, went to his chambers. Oh, I bet. To prepare your promised reward, no doubt. If you've a spell, Witcher, perhaps you'd fancy some fifty cups with the bill cards. Loosen up your joints after your journey. Maybe. Maybe later. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, first I gotta collect my reward? Whatever the hell it is. I mean, if it's not Yennefer and Velvet, then... You know. Yeah, the DLC I'm really excited for. It should be good. This place is so beautiful, oh my god. Greetings, Berna. Feast not to your liking. <clears throat> This is no feast. It's a farmer's market where votes are bought and sold like sheepskins. Oh, fucking relax. Svanrig is not gonna buy for support. Bran's son will not haggle for a crown that is his by right. Far as I know, crown goes to the claimant who gains the most votes. That is the tradition, but not all traditions are good. The Isle's care should be entrusted to a single family. A monarchy? What's wrong with voting for your king? Take a walk. Listen and you'll understand. The claimants already hand out land, promise privileges, titles, favorable judgments. They behave like whores lifting their skirts for every passerby. A king by the grace of votes is no ruler, but a debtor. This must end. We must start by placing Bran's firstborn son on the throne. I hope the Yarls will see the wisdom of it. Hmm. Leaving Kertrolda? Tomorrow at daybreak. Okay. Enjoy yourself, Master Geralt. You know what? Um, I don't care about your opinion, girl. I really, I, I? I really fucking don't. You must even come. I've been waiting for you. She's so, not entirely wrong, but like, you like it? Uh, any better than your continental balls? Definitely more to drink. <laughs> there is. Rolled all of it out of my cellars. Double meads, triple, century and plum brandy. Oh, brandy's so good. A mouth like boiling water. Clan on crate knows the meaning <clears throat> of hospitality. Saw you talking to Berna. What about politics? After all, North Elf's interests her. Ew. Wench tried to convince me that we must honor Brand's memory. To that aim, I'm to command my offspring to withdraw from the race for the crown. Support Svanrigger instead. Why do I think you turned her down? <laughs> you put it mildly. I showed her the door. Good. Feeling torn between Yalmar and Ceres? You mean, do I have a favorite? <laughs> Nay. They're as different as fire and water. But on Crate blood flows in both. I actually really loved cyberpunk. Like, the story, I absolutely loved. Yeah, there were some glitches, but man, I, I want to replay cyberpunk at some point. That game, I loved it, personally. But that's my opinion, and it's fine if people disagree, if they were disappointed, but like, when I, when I hear about big games, I don't look up anything about them. I'll watch the trailer, and that's it. I won't read any of the articles, I won't read any of the promises, I won't even watch like E3 and shit like that if I'm totally honest, because I just don't really trust game companies anymore and I feel like if I just are like, oh this game seems interesting and then I go in and I play it, I'll just take it for what it is instead of what it was promised to be. It's the same thing with like Spore and all that. Like, I just enjoy the game. I don't like to look too deep into it. But I really loved Cyberpunk. I thought it was a good game. I played it on PC. Yeah. 
Yeah, I did play it on PC. Story was great. Story was amazing. I loved it. The new Switch news? No. I just play things that people say will make me cry and then get real sad. Same. Same with movies. I think the Council of Jarls will dare to put a woman on the throne. If you'd asked me some months ago, I'd have laughed <clears throat> in your face. But today I see, and I'm not alone, that Ceres has something as rare on the Isles as a hot summer. Patience. Others act, then think. She's different. She thinks things through, the for, the against. But once she takes action, not a force in the world could stop her. It's true. That's true. I do, I, after that last quest, I like, I like Ceres quite a bit. I haven't played Detroit Become Human yet. No, airship, I haven't. Between you and me, Yalmar's not too hot-headed to be king. Depends on the kind of king you have in mind. Want one who'll send emissaries, move figurines about a map, calculate the most profitable option? Then yes, he's too hot-headed. But Skelliger wants a different ruler. A kind who'll drown Nilfgaard in blood. Sooner jump into a fire than surrender. It's true. That the people would like that. If you escalate your attacks, you stand to infuriate Amir. Could regret it someday. In Skellige, we spit on the notion of peace at any cost. Promised me a reward for helping your children. And I aim to keep my word. Here. This bauble's been in the family for generations. I give it to you. Helping ensure the line in Jewel. Oh! Beautiful craftsmanship. Thanks. I'm the one. Hear that? Damn it. That must be started another row. That's not Yalmar. Let's go. The fuck is going on out there? Oh, I could always use a good cry. Oh! What the fuck? What? What is- Oh! Was that Berna's fault? Wait a second! Hold on one- What? Them some giant fucking bears! What's this? Oh, cheese? Pardon? The herb one's no longer good, but it's uh. better. This one's still fine. Yeah. I just rinsed off the outside. If there's another slime in it, oh, okay. that's fine. Cookie can have the other one. Mm -hmm. I put it in her thing already. Oh, okay, perfect. It should be eaten today. You want me to bring me some with some cracker? Um, not right now, but maybe when I log out, we'll have a charcuterie platter. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Aren't we in Witcher Canada? I watched Twitch. <laughs> I had got my eye on you. Or maybe not. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, I think. <laughs> yeah, these are some big fucking bears. All right, where's my beast oil at? Mm. Why do I have a feeling that skeevy fucking cunt is behind this? Why do I have a feeling this is the skeevy cunt's fault? my picnic basket. It's true. <clears throat> There's a lot of dead people here.
Cloth! Give me some cloth! Gotta stop the bleeding! Oh. Quick! Da. Da. Take my cloak. Thank you. Sure. Hold on, sir. You'll pull through. A shark grabbed my leg once. Albion! Hmm? He's dead. Yeah. It is. Oh, no. Crack! Where'd those bears come from? Huh? Answer! Now! Careful how you speak to my dad. Stow your blade, pup! Or Crack will lose a son, too! You insult me, Lugas! And now you threaten my son! I stepped on his. Dad, come here! Come on! Put you down like a rabbit dog! Calm down! Calm down! Enough blood's been spilled. Someone brought these beasts here to murder our sons and brothers. We cannot restore their lives. But we can. We must. I don't know either, Porpoise. This burden falls upon the host and his offspring. Oh. It was definitely that bitch. Uh, it was 100% that bitch. Find the guilty on crate. Find and kill them. Else your clan will be cursed for a hundred generations to come. I love Skellige. This is my people. These are my people. Anybody see how the bears got in? Don't matter. I know where to find the guilty already. Wait. Are you mad? You're gonna kill folk before we've learned what happened. Learn all you want. Meantime, I'll go wash the shame off our clan. Hey, the Yards aren't listening anymore. Stop playing the hero and think for a second. Our honor's at stake, sis. I can't wait. Are you listening to me? Someone let those bears in. We must know who, and the answer lies somewhere in this room. I'll find it. You're right, Ceres. I'll help you. Thanks. Fine. See you when I return with the traitor's heads. I'll stay here. Someone must see to everything. Someone the healer hand the fallen over to their families. Wolf, I thank you. Are they? Ever see anything like that? No, and I hope I never will again. Where'd the bears come from? We're what gonna find out. Laughing, eating, drinking. Suddenly, a massacre. That'll sober you up real quick. Walls. Blame Canada. Blame Canada. No, who died? Drogadar, Drake or Dew, Blue Boy Lugos, Yalborn, Otrig. Take some time, mention them all. But you could name the claimants to the throne who survived in one breath. You, Yalmar, and Svanriga. What are you saying? Nothing, just yet. Mm. What happened before the massacre? Be precise. Y young Lucas bet he could empty a barrel of beer in one go. Of course. He climbed on the table, grabbed a pony keg of centrin wheat, and started chugging. His throat bulged like a blowfish. Face went red, but he kept drinking. Folks started banging their tankers on the table, shouted, Lugos, Lugos. Yeah, I heard that. And from the other side of the room, we heard this roar. We turned in unison as if a coxswain had called. They were there. They were already there. Folks closest to the bears didn't even manage to draw their weapons. They... They were ripped to shreds. Fuck, man. We'll avenge them. I promise. We've talked enough. Let's look around. Let me know what you find. I'll speak to the others. Maybe someone saw more than I did. Why do I have a feeling that most people picked her over her brother? Claw marks, broken bones. Hard to say what exactly killed him. It's true. If a bear is killing you, then a bear is fucking killing you. No wonder Hjalborn bled to death. Guilty? Yeah. <laughs> Hjalmar is an idiot. Saw a bear standing by the bench. Does the gods do it? It's not the gods doing. It's that bitch is doing. Guaranteed. All right. We have here. It's a big fucking bear. Bear 
his head. Excuse me. But the tongue's short, like a human's. <gasps> oh! Oh! Mouth smells of honey liqueur. Me. Were they transformed people? Something earthy. There's like honey before it's fermented. Strange. These are not real bears. Something under the fur. A tattoo. A druid? A bear paw. Old scar. Looks like it was sutured. Is it a druid? Half Is it a druid of the bear. claw? Something like a lycanthrope. No full moon, so something else caused the transformation. Maybe something he ate or drank. Mead. Mead with an earthy aroma. Need to check the horns, tankards, and bowls. Oh, that fucking bitch! Young Lugos. Bears took him by surprise. Didn't have a chance to defend himself. Oh, Jesus Christ. Audric. Shit, no more than a kid. All the horns are empty. Hmm. It was definitely that bitch. Bodies massacred. Hard to tell who it is. Stangrim, maybe? Doesn't look that massacred to me. Oh, boy. Earthy scent from the bear's maw. Something towards mushrooms? Bowls empty. But the scent's in the air. Coming from... Somewhere else in this room. Here. Mead spiked with some kind of mushroom. And... Human blood. Ceres, come here. A guard saw what happened. Those weren't bears. They were... Men who transform into bears. Uh-huh. Berserkers. Berserkers? The skull's name for warriors who bears? change into animals hmm? in the midst of battle. Lord of the Blueberries? Stuff That's me. fairy tales, legends. But it seems to make sense, right? Mm hmm Almost. We were at a feast, not on a battlefield. I oh. think I know what caused them to transform. The mead they drank. Smell this. Maybe. Meads My switch is gray, though. And something else. Thinking it could be a mushroom, but I don't recognize the type. Sure, might help us. Few druids know herbs better. Can't hurt to try. affect the mind, soothe it, summon waking dreams. Odalric suffered for years. I tried to help him in various ways, initially with prayer, then with poppy milk. But he's done with that now, right? It's not that simple. But we'll wean him off it yet. <sighs> I did see that, actually. Mardrum related in any way to berserkers? Aye, but only in the tales told to children as they are put to sleep on cold winter nights. Warriors who ate Mardrome were said to transform into beasts when consumed by battle rage. But as I said, it's only... Only a legend, I know. Still, I find it easier to believe than some story about bears appearing out of nowhere. Mardrome. Never heard of it. They have another name for it on the continent. Silas I believe. Ah. All right. Peasants eat it to soothe pain. Oh. Uh -huh. tried it too. 
but only a few times. In larger doses, the mushroom causes visions, nightmares. Yeah, yes. I believe that. The last thing Uderek needed more of. Thanks for your help. Blood and marjoram. The taste of human flesh and a substance that triggers visions. That one could have caused the rage. Maybe even the transformation. Maybe. Hard to believe someone spiked the mead here in the hall, <laughs> though, in front of all those witnesses. You're right. I help prepare for the feast. I'd have noticed. It might have happened before they brought the drink upstairs. In the cellars, maybe? Come on. We could find some clues there. Lead the way, Saris. To be fair, the one that's the most sus here is Shell. Because in one Elsa night, it called him out twice. Into their own hands. Castles are buzz already. Think they'd attack Croc openly? My father or each other. All in the finest Skellige tradition. Haven't had a good civil war in ages. Oh, really? Knew there'd be trouble. It was all too calm. Funny. Arnold said the same. For a feast to be any good, meat's gotta <clears throat> flow. And so does blood. I'd say he got his wish. God, fucking I imagine. Hope doing something useful, uh, not just looking for a fight. Imagine bringing Relax. barrels up. Your brother's impetuous, not stupid. We keep the poison at the cellar's other end down below. Come, I'll show you. Gamer girl is such a gross word. <laughs> well, set of words. Stench. Is that vodka? The Hackerman spirit. Someone ruined several barrels of the finest. Good thing Dad's got other worries in his mind. You want to get out of the way, bitch? Holy shit! Right behind you. That's a Are you? Blood and mushrooms. Think we can find out where this barrel came from? Looks different. What the? Oh! The spirit! There's another place up in the barrels, but they're too heavy. We'll never move them. Don't intend to. Quick. Oh. Isn't that a little suspicious? We might have been burned alive. Somebody's damn desperate to bring our investigation to a quick end. Yeah, it's that cunt. Mm. Magic is a such place as well. When Yalmar and I were little, we'd play here. Once uh, bygone days. When I get my hands on that pyromaniac. I'll choke her to fucking they death. To use the entrance we used. Maybe they left some prints behind. Yep, let's Maybe. go. When the door slammed shut and the fire broke out, did you hear a bottle shatter too? No, but I have no witcher sense at my disposal. You must hear the hair growing on my head. <laughs> I try not to eavesdrop. Anyway, entrance is worth checking. Hmm. Come on. Maybe they have the stench of that broken bottle. On them, eh? Just saying, it's worth sniffing into. Fucking. Ugh. Someone walked through the mead. I will fucking choke her. Trail breaks off. Ugh. We need to find another clue nearby. Something else to follow. What's this? Piece of cloth. No. It can't be. What is it? Arnvald's tunic. Only he wears this kind. Sure about that? Saw him in the main hall with the servants. Let's go. Let's go. I love her accent. Look, it's him! Grab a horse, we'll chase him down. Oh boy, race time. Go, go. Come on, Roach. Iron Bolt! Stop, damn it! Doubt he'll listen. When I get my hands on him. 
Get out of the way, people! You don't stand a chance. Where to see a boy that? <laughs> Why do you betray them? Talk or I'll finish what I started. No on creator should ever sit on Skellige's throne. I know you better than others do. You're hot-headed, irresponsible. Skelliger needs stability, a strong king. Not the kind a band of drunken girls will choose. Curious. Never heard you voice that idea. But I do know one who never stops saying it. It's yep. Berna Bran, isn't it? Berna. Never a good liar on vault. I told you, it's the cunt. It's obvious. She schemed this up to get rid of the other claimants. Slander or clan of the process. If she succeeded, Spanrigger would have been left. The only claimant to Skellige's throne. We need proof. Your word against Berna's, that's not enough. Oh. Anvald, help us. And I'll ask my dad to grant you an honorable death. I'll insist. I have letters from her. Instructions. How to poison the lead. But she never signed them. There's no seal. Will that be enough? It might be her writing. We shouldn't delay. Time to gather the orals. They'll believe it. She was trying to convince other people to not let their fucking children run. I've assembled the yeah, right. in council as you demanded, Sarah's on fate. You claim to know who's behind the slaughter at Kaer Trolda. Speak then. The blood of Skellige's sons and daughters. Whose hands does it stain? Oh, thank you. Thank you very much for the raid. Yes, is mad. Do you think anyone will believe you? you thank you for the raid. Poison me to the hey. I beg your pardon. The servants of Kaer Trolda are not mine to command. It was your father who called for the beast who assembled <laughs> Hello, the everybody. There's reason How was your stream? Have you any proof to confirm your accusation? <clears throat> I've better. I've a witness. Arnvald. Backflips and slays monsters. Thank you for the follow, guys. Thank you. Hello. Sorry, I just want to listen to this part. Sir, speaks true. Oh! That dirty cunt's face. The clan that took you in. Good man. He's a servant to Uncreate, a lackey. He will say what they command him to say. He would like for them even working the paper with his hands. Thank you. It's a great game. This is my first time playing. So why would he lie? I can vouch for Cyrus. Thank you for the follow, guys. You, yet another uncreate lackey. Did Cyrus entice you to cooperate? I can imagine how. Or has Croc paid you to smear my name? What did you say? Ooh. Calm yourselves. Ooh. After what I saw on Speaker Rock, I trust the Witcher more than I do you. You've that right. But it's no proof of my guilt. Your attitude is all the fucking proof I need. But anyways, hello everybody! You were also playing The Witcher 3. Nice! It's a great game. It's my first time playing. I'm already close to the end of the main story, but now I'm just like, oh shit, I should probably do more side missions, so... Hmm. Getting there. <laughs> Excuse me. How was your stream? Sorry if I missed you say it earlier. I'm, I'm just trying to listen to important stuff. Hi. Hey, little kitty. I'm glad. I'm glad you had a good stream. Got one more piece of evidence. Oh? A letter from Berna to Arnvald, instructing him how to spike the meat. It's her writing, isn't it? It lacks my signature. It lacks my seal. But perfect. Oh, how convenient. A very strong scent, you know. Still to be sensed. <laughs> Everybody take turns princess. sniffing her. Is this what you call evidence of my supposed treason? Don't make me laugh. You are a Burn dumb bitch. Sarah's. Tis all precious little proof of her wrongdoing. Alas, your brother Hjalmar also has not presented anything that could clear your family's name. Fight to the death? We've but one path left to us. 
Olga, Lugos, it's time we quit this damn castle. Come, we must decide what punishment Clan on Crate will face. Oh. You're making a big mistake. Silence, wanderer. Wait! Mother. Oh! You bade me to leave the hall before the feast. Why? Son, not now. Oh! Oh! How did you know? Hi! Oh! Silent. Called out by your own child. You gave Ceres no credence. Give the Witcher no credence. But you must give credence to a son who accuses his own mother. What's it was her doing? She shamed herself. Me. The family. The clan. Son, we get. I did it for you. Oh! I did it for you. You bitch! I to this day. As the eldest of the Jarls, I cleanse the name of Clan on Crape. And you, Berna Bran, I sentence to death. Why don't you just jump you off the cliff right now? To a rock, to perish of hunger and thirst, and sea fowl will peck apart your remains. I like that better. Oh! I did it for you! Please, you must listen to me. Not now. Oh, fucking Jesus, shit, man. That poor boy. When I had a lust for power, I knew this. But so strong as to commit such a crime. What about Svanriga? What's his fate? He'll lose his home, his name, his honor. He'll choose exile. Oh, that's fucking sad. Yeah. But enough. <laughs> but whatever. <laughs> I thank you, Geralt. Again. No need. Again. I'll not take any more of this modesty. This is a land of heroes. Let this remind you of that. Oh my god. And now, I must ride for getting it. For the Jarl's council. Time to pick a king. Or a queen. What do you think? Who'll get the nod? Come with me. See for yourself. All may listen to hey, our sweetie. deliberations. I do have a horse in the race. Can't refuse to be honest. As I thought. Well, let's go. What did she do? Oh, she uh, basically planned the slaughter of everybody running for the crown except her son. Yeah. Hi. And a lot of them got slaughtered. Most. If it wasn't for me, all of them would have gotten slaughtered. Almost. If it wasn't for the meddling witchers. I'd have gotten away with it. Thank you for the ball. Today, our morning ends. Today, by the grace of the gods and the clans, a new ruler takes the crown. Let us swear her fealty. I had a feeling. <clears throat> Looks good on her. I know some would see another in my place. I thank those who stood at my side. Here, beneath the sacred oak, I pledge to be a good queen to the ones and the others. I want peace and prosperity to reign in Skellige. And I count on you to help me fulfill that dream. Ceres! 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 What the fuck was that? I agree. Anyway, 
I was bested by a wench. <laughs> Not just any wench. Your right. sister. Suppose if it had to be so, glad it was Ceres. <clears throat> Not even a little proud of her? Come on, admit it. I bet I. She's the blood of me blood. Bone of me bone. But don't tell her I said so. Liable to puff out her chest. I'll put you to her good now I think of it. It's true. She showed Lugos. Did you see that rage, Gripper? I thought he'd burst. Yeah, surprised to see him in that much of a half, actually. Our clans have been putting heads, chests, bellies forever. It's the lay of the land. Hmm. Take care, Yama. Is now when I ask her for help with the hunt. <laughs> Congratulations. You'll make a great queen. Thank you. Wouldn't be here if it weren't for you. What's the new queen of Skellica planning? I guess this is it. To listen, learn, and listen again. Then we'll see. Good plan. I must unite the clans. I'd rather avoid war, but if Nilfgaard aims to attack, we must repel them together. Drummond folk might be a problem. I saw Lugos during the ceremony. Furious, to say the least. There's always been strife between our clans. But I must try and talk to him. Just might bring him around. A few- Yo, hey, by the way, now that you're queen, you wanna help me out? I gotta help my daughter. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna ask her now. I've got a delicate matter I wanted to bring up. Need your help. What is it? Krohs mentioned Siri to you. He must have. Have you found her? Not yet, but I'm close. Problem is, as soon as I get to her, the wild hunt will probably be able to locate us quickly. So I'll want to take her to Cairn Warren. Battle the hunt there. I'm looking for allies. I can't leave the islands now. It's impossible. What I can do is give you my best warrior, Yalmar. Oh? Will be willing? I'm sure of it. In fact, I think I'd be overjoyed. Come on, you know him. Yeah, I guess I hey, do. Hey, I'll take it. Thanks. No doubt he'd be found. Eh, it's fine. I hope he proves useful too. Good luck. Eh. Hey, Helmir. Guess what? We've enlisted you. So, so. Not just a night. The wild hunt's preparing to attack you. Could use your help. Raids at the gate of your witcher stronghold. You're a friend of the clan. I cannot refuse you. What's more, no one crates ever stood in battle such a foe. You'll be legendary. I'll leave at once. I'll leave at once. Wow. Oh. No, 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 no. I get it. She should not come personally. I just want her help. I hope I've helped this guy now. If only you knew. Tell me. What other y'all can boast children like mine? <laughs> Shame their mother didn't live to see this. Oh. Saris will make a good queen. Maybe she can finally unite the clans. Let's hope. And if not, she'll always have me and Yalma. If the need arises, you take up arms for her. Speaking of which. What is it, little guy? Ah. Um. Oh, wait, do I need to talk to him again? Telling you, Geralt. Since you and Yalma defeated the Ice Giant together, I see you as one of our own. I got the look of the Skelliger. No. The heart, not great. Well, I'll talk to him about a couple other things first, you know. Yeah, this might be the way. The massacre during the feast. Know anything new? Thanks to you and Ceres, we know who's responsible. It's enough for me. I'm not gonna try to capture the berserkers. We're but tools, Wolf. I'd rather sever the hand that wields the sword than wear it my 
16. True that. Your daughter, first woman to rule Skellige. She'll be a good queen. That's what she wants. Yeah. So what does she want? Unite all of Skellige's clans. A difficult task. No one has ever managed. Sarah's is stubborn. Thinking long term, then. Think she'll succeed. She's got a powerful ally. Oh, here we go. It's time. This isn't easy. But I need to ask you a favor. A big one. Tell me, friend. Siri, I know where she is. Hi. Right. I also know that as soon as I meet her, the wild hunt will know I did. They'll come after us, attack, and we'll need to respond with strength. Can I count on you? Black ones first. Here. We'll face them in battle. What's this about the Nilfgaardians? Guardians? Late. Look seaward and you'll see their son on the sea. We've yet to capture. But fear not. We'll banish mm -hmm. the battle. City oh. will be safe. <laughs> I'm sorry, but we can only do it at Kermor. Risk your men's lives. Kermor, we fight them there, nowhere else. Kermorhen is hundreds of miles away. To move an army there would take weeks. Not to mention, I'd expose the Isles to Nilfgaard's blows. Dare not forgive me, but I cannot do it. That's okay. I understand. Won't take up any more of your time. Farewell. Wait. I'll let you leave empty-handed. I'll help as I can. Come with me. Yeah! Yeah? Beautiful craftsmanship. Got a talented smith. Not I. Keep Erlen done great. Erlen Stonefist. So this is Winter's Blade. Thought it was a legend. Forged in Mahakam. Tempered in dragon fire. Been in the Oncrate family for centuries. And now, it's yours. can't take this. You can. You must. Let me do this much <clears throat> at least. If you insist. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Is this how we kill the Night King? I mean the, the wild hunt? I didn't even look at the other sword that he gave me. <laughs> Farewell. Jesus Christ. All right. All right. Q. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, well, it's a little less exciting. I got excited for a moment. Winter's Blade. Oh, it's not even as good as mine. Chance to freeze, critical hit damage bonus. Yeah, it's fucking... You know why? Because you can beat the game around level 22. Oh, thank you, Terse. Good morning. Oh, little moon. I'm just rubbing her head on my elbow. Yep, that's okay. What about the other ones? Probably fate. That's one I had before. <sighs> Cleaver Hood. Headhunter. <laughs> yep, none of these are better. I was all excited too! But you know what, I'm gonna put Winter's Blade in a chest. I'm not gonna sell it. Like, hey, remember that family heirloom you gave me? Yeah, I sold it to some bum and fucking... I sold it to the fucking Nilfgaardians! <laughs> I found a merchant in, Nif in Nilfgaard, and I bought all their flowers, so they had enough money to buy your fucking sword. <laughs> I might be able to upgrade it, I don't know. I've never upgraded anything. Boots! Crossbow bolt! Was it a steel sword? Feline. 
I don't know where we do that. Witch hunter survive it. Yeah. Hey, HL. Have you tried getting Witcher gear? I will eventually. It's just I'm right now I'm mostly working on side quests, so all the stuff I'm going up against is like fucking pussy shit. And um there's no real point in me having really good armor and I don't really want to waste a lot of money on getting really good armor right now until I'm like at least maybe level 30 something. You know what I mean? Because, like, I have a decent amount of money. I may as well just save up for, like, something really good. You have a pickup line to use on my partner? Oh, yeah, sure. What? It's really bad. I'm gonna shoot you. Okay, go for it. Sup? <laughs> up? Yeah, you know, it's funny. Almost every stream, someone comes in like, Hey, you should get better armor. I'm just like, do I have to explain this every time? Every time. <laughs> I'm only level 25. All the good armor right now won't do me any good in one more stream. I stream for eight hours. But I can hate you. <laughs> I mean, at least it'd be true. <laughs> Trousers? My goodness. Yeah, level 39 stuff. Like, there's... Ugh. You're given to say, yeah, okay. Feline, yeah, pussy trousers. Wait, alchemy, is there any new? Oh, no, there isn't. I wish there was like a massive mutagen that you could have. You know? Uh, oh yeah, I have a perk point. But yeah, mutagens, man. Greater green mutagen. Like, why can't we have a massive greater green mutagen? You know, I have so many of them. What am I supposed to do? Eat them? Mm. Ard. <sighs> You're done. Hmm. Good for wraiths. It's true. Quinn. Uh, create an active shield, maintaining it and blocking attacks drains stamina, damages or eh. eh. Increase sign duration by five seconds. Two opponents can be ace. I like that. Mm. Oh, see, that could also be quite handy. I don't have it equipped right now. No, I've got poisoned blades. Oil applied to blades gives a 15% chance of poisoning. See, that's fucking legit. That's good. Mutagens in one of the... Oh, I have both of the DLCs. So, I guess I'll just hold on to them, regardless. <clears throat> Only talking in movie quotes? That's okay. You're allowed. I think. Okay, um... Is there anything here that I would want? At my current hot dog consumption rate, I will need to restock this Thursday. I understand. Ooh. Crossbow bolts dealing more damage could be fun. Ignore bomb and special bolt effects. Huh. See, these are, like, good, but I also don't really use a whole lot of this stuff, you know? Let's see what's going on over here. 
I also can't unlock this until level 26. Bah! Increases the chance of lasting, landing a fast attack critical hit by 8%. Well, I mean, we may as well do this then, I guess, eh? We'll do that. Yeah, we'll just max that out. Cool. Nice. Okay. Um. Get on a boat. Talk to friends who could help defeat the hunt and ask them to join your fight. <laughs> and get on a boat. Okay. Blood and wine is the one you can use. Okay. Okay. Cool. Okay. Main quests. Let's set you aside yet again. Um. Oh, really? Gwent. Ugh. I need to find good Gwent cards. Let, here, let's do the sh the the shit the shit ass ones first, just to get them out of the way. Hi. We'll get them out of the way, and then we'll work our way up. They're only gonna give us a couple experience, anyways. Oh wait, will this take us out? Yeah. Excuse me. Sorry. Hi. Oh. Doggos! Oh wait, hold on. What's my inventory looking like? Uh, right. Is there a place near here? Uh -huh. There we go. I'm gonna go down there and I'm gonna put the, the winter blade in there. Just, you know. Sentimental reasons and shit. I'm not gonna sell their sword. Was an Easter egg? I mean, this game seems to be made of Easter eggs. Like, it, it legitimately seems to be made of Easter eggs. <clears throat> Blood and Wine, does that have a lot of vampires in it? That sounds like it would have a lot of vampires in it. Where is... Oh wait, did I pass it? Oh, I probably did. I did! I... Fuck, it's up there. Oh! Uh. Uh. Oh! Got sidetracked looking at the chat. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, it's fucking down there! All right. Apparently, I was going the right way. Mm. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna put it away. Find someone who will buy the rest of my shit. Yeah. Oh, good. Awesome. I'm excited. I can finally use my very fucking good vampire oil, you know? Um... Where is it? Did I pass it? No, it's up there. I wonder if the unicorn is still there. One way to find out, I guess. Locked. Ah! Is avoiding running into things? That's true! That's what the vast majority of this game is. Nope, Unicorn is not there anymore. I can relax. My C-3PO boots? Hell yeah. Uh, level 27. I'm getting closer. Yeah, no Unicorn. Alright, Winter's Blade, you go over there. Um. Headhunter. I'll just sell these, honestly. Um.
No unicorn, no fun. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I believe that. Can I sleep? What a fucking room. Holy shit. This seems way too fancy for Skellige. But, you know. A full fucking pig roast. Oh. The Griffin set? I do like using signs. I'll be fine. Just wanted to talk. I've gotta say, I like the place. I should hope so. Found it a rune when I came here from Unvik. Gold shitting into the tankers oh. through the gaps in the thatch. I bought the hut, rolled up my sleeves, and made a proper alehouse out of it. Did a great job, my dude. Customers come here evenings to reminisce about the old times. Nice. What smells so delicious? What smells so delicious? Ooh, Gwent cards. Hell yeah. Neutral card, okay. So he has monster cards. I can get down with that. Ooh, whoa, that's a good thing. So uh, that's a shit thing. Uh, 60, 25. That is a much better saddlebag. All right, I imagine he's not gonna buy my weapons. Yeah, no, that's okay. Gwent cards, though. So long. Every piece increases sign damage. Oh shit, maybe I will then. I think I have, I think I have the quest for the griffin stuff. I think? With, no, that's Witcher Contracts. Hold on. Secondary? I feel like... Maybe, maybe I don't? Did I already do it? Treasure Oh, treasure hunts. Oh, scavenger hunt. Griffin school gear upgrade. Diagrams. Part 4. I have part 4. I don't have part one, two, or three. A tournament? I get something badass, probably. Griffin, huh? Good to know. Let's see, let's get that at least done. Envoys, wine boys. These are a little out of my reach. Alrighty. What's the deal with finding those things? Wait, finding what things? Are you talking about the diagrams? You gotta do a few quests to get mastercrafted. I saw in your inventory you gotta buy a note from Merchants of Velen. Yeah, probably. Uh, honestly, in games like this, you get so many fucking... things. You get so much stuff that, like... It's the same with, like, an MMO. You have, like, 10 million things in your inventory, and it's just like... Holy shit, man. You go from place to place to place, and then all of a sudden you realize you have about 50 million fucking notes that you haven't read yet, and it's like, ah, where do I begin? Ugh. You know what I mean? All right, now I can sell this stuff. Uh, um, let's see. Where? There's a barber. <sighs> Armorer's table. 
Oh yeah, I couldn't... I don't think I could go to that one yet. Quest. Well, now I want to know what that is. Ugh, get out of the way. And then we'll get that treasure. You can sell the notes? Eh, that's okay. I'll just hold on to them. Respect, Witcher. Oh, it's in a fucking cave. It's like, what? What is this fable? Juggler from occupied Temeria and Temeria? You sure? Not Novigrad? What? Why Novigrad? No, no, I come from Malibor and. Uh... You're not cut out for this line of work. Memory's too short. See, we've met, but you were a respected Novigrad merchant who wanted desperately to get home. I assure you, I. All right, all, all right, you got me. I know this all looks bad, but I, I swear I, I'll pay you back, man. All of it with, with interest. Just please don't don't take me to the yard. Definitely won't get my coin back if I turn you in. But try to cheat me again, and I'll find you. I'll find you and I'll. Yeah, I ain't playing. Besides, you can go to the yard any time you want. Then I expect to see you later. Where'd all this go? What a piece of poop. Really? Damn. Yeah, really. For serious. <gasps> you know what I want? I want cereal. Anyway. I don't know why I want cereal. But I feel like cereal. I never eat cereal. Yo, cinnamon toast crunch just it hits different. Cinnamon toast crunch is so good. <clears throat> I don't know what kind of cereal I want though. Oh, maybe some raisin bran. Respect, Witcher. Slower. No such thing as bad ships or bad weather. <clears throat> Serial devourer. Devourer. Wait, where was the island with that fucking weirdo on it? Yo, it was here, wasn't it? Maybe not? Was it here? It was here, wasn't it? The guy needed nails and twine. Probably near Vancouver, maybe. Look at all this shit out at sea. Oh my god. Spardug. Let's let's do everything on this island. Let's see uh, what's going on over here. There's some question marks. Yeah, I haven't had cereal in a very long time. I also never, um, like... I never drink milk or, like... I don't really have much dairy besides some butter. Oh, meditate is N. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> Find the underwater tr This is where we 
Are we going to steal the sword back? Guys. <clears throat> Are we stealing the sword back? Of course. Oh my gosh. I had no idea we were sick fucks. As is customs, you know? That's how they say it, as is customs. Oh, there was a sword uh, that I had to give to a uh, a corpse, hoping that it would ease the spirit's wrath, and it did not. I brought it down here. Oh, yeah. Are we stealing it back? This was a family sword. Die, bitch. Oh my god, don't tell me we're stealing it back. There's a box down here, right? Oh my god. Oh my god. Are you serious? No. No. No, okay. Hold on. Okay, I was gonna say. We're not stealing it back. There's something else down here. Oh, Freaking sirens. <laughs> what did we get? I missed that. Because it was supposed to go back to him. It was his. Yep, yeah, but the spirits and the gods. Come on. Ha <laughs> ha. Assassin's trousers. No. Mine are better. And then there's some garbage. Eh, my shit's better. Give him to Uma. Uma's not Uma anymore. We already fixed the Uma situation. Uma, Uma, Uma. My dog licked my face and I got contaminated with bacteria that helps break down meat, so I have to eat it now or do- Wait, what? What the fuck, Nitro? Are you serious? Wait, that's a thing? gonna say sounds awfully suspicious Oof. awfully awfully suspect all right what's next No, it is a thing. Yo, someone be sus as fuck. Kick him out. Let's let's light the flame. Feel no remorse, for they showed us none. Oh, fucking sirens! Oh my god, there's so fucking many. All 
Alright, well then come down and face me like a siren. I see dead bitches every fucking where. Look at all these dead bitches. I need some air. Come on, I fucking dare ya! I fucking dare ya! Well, that was easy enough. I- yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, that- she did do that. Very impressive. Are these really empty? What the fuck? Okay. I mean, I'm sure she knew what she was doing, right? All right, let's go back to the island. Um, I'll take care of this, and then we'll take care of that. We'll bring the boat back, and we'll take the boat out. And we'll start dealing with shit in the ocean. Oh, the boat's damaged. Fuck, eh? Well, ain't that some shit. Shut up, Siren. Ha, <laughs> gave up. I've, uh... I've heard of it. I haven't seen it with mine own two eyes, though. Not to say it's fake, of course. going on up here. Ah, oh, it's that. Okay. What's going on up here? Locked. Okay. I'm almost scared to look up pictures of it. Okay, how do I get up there? Uh, maybe... Fuck, I don't know if I can get there through this building. But I know I have to get up and around. Oh yeah, there's there's like microplastics and stuff inside a lot of the fish in the sea. Yep, that I do know. For sure. I remember that. It is pretty insane. the reason to only eat farmed fish, but even then, it's like... Jesus. <laughs> farmed fish isn't all that good for you either. 
can't get out of there. God, I gotta go around the other way, I guess. Well, that's fucking obnoxious. And there's no way up from there, eh? Nope. Ah, uh, just a lot of the conditions that they're farmed in is pretty fucking gross, usually. Oh, for sure, Terse. Because also a lot of farmed fish are farmed, um, like, in the ocean. They're not, like, in giant tanks or anything. You know what I mean? I'm gonna have to get over there one way or another. Oh, I'm depressed every day. <laughs> oh, fuck, I can't get over that mountain like that. Let's go around. We'll check out this one first. I don't know how the fuck we're supposed to get up there, but we're gonna try, I guess. Oh, of course. I thought they fucking hissed at me for a sec. I was like, what? Alright, what if I set you on fucking fire? Wait. I want to set you on fire. Damn it! All right, fine, Axie. Damn it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there goes his fucking head, eh? What? They just poof out of nowhere? Fucking- Oh, that's a big fucking arrow. And I'm just running around after that, you know? Ouch. Is the treasure. There it is, maybe? Yeah, I think that's it. Oh, I can loot his body too. An axe head. Oh, that's brutal. Well, okay, how the fuck are we supposed to get up out there? This goes down to here, but like... What if I go this way and then come around that way? Oh my gosh, Shell, that's the third time you've been called out. All right, I'll be right back. I'm just gonna run to the bathroom. Hold up.
Yeah, yo. Uh, where are we on the thing? Oh, okay. Let's go to this little teleporty stick thing. I feel like we're gonna have to go up here and then go around that way. But hello, everybody. I return. Um. Anchoring for some trotter day. Oh, oh. There's, the There's another one in the fridge, anyways. We'll have the jelly kind of soon. I wanted to try it at the end of stream. Thank you, Red. Everybody's curious how it turned out. What? Oh, I hope not. It's my first time. Hopefully. The water's pretty good. Mm. Thank you, Red. Just give me one second. <clears throat> mm. I recognize your type, my lord. Okay, so that's that way. Oh, wait a second. Where? Oh, down here? Let's see if this guy has some more money now. Uh, your goods. Hey, Citizen B. Oh, he's still broke. Do you have anything I can buy? Ooh. Burning. Armor piercing. Freeze. Oh, the burning, though. Sure. If it means you'll buy my shit. Uh, yeah. Fate. Whoa. Hmm. Still have a lot of trash on hand. Sure, let's buy more stuff. This is trash, 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 trash. Okay. But how are you doing? I'm alive, so I'm clearly doing something right. <clears throat> now I can sell all this stuff. Sell, 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 sell. Um. Holy moly. Sure. Sell you some venom. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, one. Let's go back to here and then I can. Look at your wares. Escape, crafting, repair. I guess I could do the crafting immediately. Space, where, rip, 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 rip. Shop. Let's see if I have more trash I can sell him. Uh, let's do that. And then do I have anything else that I have like a shit ton of? Oh, 
I could do monster teeth. Sure, why not? I can always get more of those. Uh, four. Okay, there we go. Farewell. Oh, that sucks. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, my dude. That, uh... Sounds like a not-so-fun time. <sighs> this geese just running around like idiots. Witchrin's going alright. Welcome back, mind. How you doing? There can only be. And hey, mage. Your internet was down for two hours? I'm sorry. No, you did not miss the jelly update, I promise. The jelly update will be in, like, 50 minutes? So if you have time to hang out for another 50 minutes, then you're Gucci. Alright, let's try and make it up this hill. Oh my god, does this, did this really just lead me to fucking nowhere? Oh my god, it did, didn't it? Uh. Oh, goodness. Please tell me there's people here and there's a, sh a, s a thing. Oh no, I've... I've been here. Yeah, this was the place where I the guy was with the thing and... Hey, dude. So now I want to go this way, I guess? You'll stay for the jelly? Nice. I feel ya. I, I really do hope it turns out good, cause like... I have made jelly before. I made, um, quince jelly. And it was so interesting. I've never tasted anything quite like it before. Oh, Jesus fuck. Can I seriously not get over there? This is upsetting. Come on! No! I'm not Tony Hawk! I swear to god. Oh, okay. It wants me to get up there somehow. I have a feeling it's not going to be easy. Or by the means that it, you're supposed to. Fucking look at that shit. How am I supposed to get up there? How... How? No! No, 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 no. Come on, come on. How the fuck? I doubt I'll be able to go around. I wonder if there's anything cool over here, though. Probably not. There's no climbing gear, as far as I know. Oh, here we go. Wee! Anything cool over here? Do you imagine how fucking cold you would be? What's that? Oh, it's just a fucking inside of a branch. Dude, you'd be so fucking cold. Ugh. These mountains. It would be humiliating. So, and then he was so ashamed, he died. Checks out. Was I? Oh, was I? I don't know. I don't know how the fuck, like, I, I've tried going through here. There was nothing that I could see. Oh. Oh. I don't even know, man. I'm glad they gave this side of the island some stuff, though. 
Go back around the cliff on the other side, get it with this way? Or the other way? Okay, this way. All right, you guys, uh, banana. That is my code word for you can backseat game this specific thing. Where go to get there? <laughs> oh my gosh, here we go. Fruit cell. You had to jump over the rock there and then you just went down. Oh. I must have not seen it properly. My bad. Okay. Let me see here. Wait, the pathway that goes up from over here? Are you talking about over here? That that pathway that seemingly led to no fucking nowhere? You know, I was curious about that. It seemed awfully suspicious. Oh, that's bright. Oh, I'm an idiot! Thank you. I see it now. Thank you, guys. Thank you for showing me the error of my ways. Turns out I am only big dumb. Wait. In here. I guess there's a way through here that I didn't see before. Is there a door back here that I just didn't see? At least it's less fucking suspicious this time around. Locked? You reserve the big dumb for yourself? Well, at least we can agree on something, Novin. I'm just kidding! What about this suspicious looking area? Easiest solution and all that, yeah. Uh, well, yeah, duh, that's how I roll. I just gotta like jump up here? Oh my gosh. Alright, how the hell are you supposed to claim the big dumb when I'm here? Alright? How are you supposed to claim the big dumb when I'm here? Okay. I'm the streamer. I'm the big dumb. I fight me. Medallion's humming. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> it's gotta be. Yeah. God damn it. Alright, I guess that's it. Cool. Big dumb, bigger dumb, who cares? That's true, I'll be the bigger dumb. You can be the big dumb, I'll be the bigger dumb. I will, I will accept that. Woo, gosh! Wait, what's over here? I swear to God. Oh my god, could I- oh, wait a second. Is the lines in my brain?
Well then. That worked. Just as I intended. You've all fallen for my ruse. I knew it the whole time. <laughs> first try! Yo, zero deaths and first try. Watch this, I will run through and they will not hit me. Ah, see? Alas, I am I am correct yet again. It's true, Turs. It's true. Okay. Alright, this island is technically done. Um, who did I manage to gather for the battle so far? Just about everybody except that dude from the bathhouse. But I still have so much stuff to do. Speed run, but not glitchless? Yeah. Yeah, there's quests! There's like treasure and shit. We gotta go get it. But my my boat's a little damaged, you know? Hold on. Let's go here, get a fresh boat, and then um, we'll go explore the sea. I don't even know if you can fix your boat. I mean, maybe. But I don't know. Yo, that cow looks uncomfortable. That's a little better. Alright, boat. That way. Alright. Squishing him. Squish, squish. I would too. Hmm. All right, uh, let's uh, go find some treasure. Let's mark out the closest one on the map. Bam. Great thing about being out on the open water is that you can just pick a direction and go. I hope you don't get drowned. It smells like victory? I wouldn't know what that smells like. All right, what the fuck is here? Treasure, smuggler's cash. All righty. Like napalm? I don't know what napalm smells like. This complicates things a little. Oh my bloody fuck, that water is deep. No. 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 I am not a deep water person. I cannot look at it. I can't. No. Oh, fuck. Okay, go up, Geralt, please. It's worse in person, but god damn it, it still gives me fucking anxiety. Subnautica Witcher Edition. Dude, Subnautica, the first time I played Subnautica, every fucking inch that I took, I was terrified. Porpoise, be on my side. Please. You're used to underwater expeditions. It's your expertise. I love boats, though. I love going out on boats. Uncensored? That's my whole life. <laughs> I live my life uncensored. Kind of. Oh, fucking hag. You're okay. Uh... Oh! Oh, god damn it! Just let me back in the boat so I can shoot you all. Ha! 
<laughs> Bitch. Bam. Come at me. Oh, there's another one over there. Where? Oh, get fucking wrecked. See that shit? Just look up. It's okay. I'm not even scared of the monsters, honestly. I'm scared of, like, fucking drowning or some shit. That's horrifying to think about. Drowning is one of the scariest things I can imagine. I can't even see the fucking bottom. No. 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 Well, SeaWorld is a horrible place. For the animals. I don't believe that, like, dolphins and whales should be in places like that. Fish and whatnot, depending on the fish, sure. But, like... Fuck, even some octopus are good in pub in 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 places like that, but I don't I don't agree with places like that, generally. Get the fuck out of here. No, it's the deep water. Like if I can't see the bottom, there's a problem. If I can't see the bottom, I just like it's like it's bad. I think they call it, like, thalassophobia. <clears throat> it's... bad. I'm not a fan of cruise ships, if I'm totally honest. I'd rather just have, like... Like, a, a boat with a few people. I don't even care what could come from the void. I just don't like looking at the abyss. I do not like looking into the abyss. Oh, that is the abyss. Whales are just too smart. They get depressed. Fucking look at that. I know it's just a fucking game, but like, god. It's so unsettling to me. get this done and over with and get the fuck out of the ocean. Uh, you know, I'm surprised that there aren't like giant sea monsters in this game. When you stare into the abyss, the abyss stares back. Yo, is that the end of the map? The fu- oh no, okay, that's better now. I was gonna say, what the fuck was that? It's all a fucky situation. No, 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 no. Here. Some people just don't care. Some people see things and they're like, oh, I can make a lot of money doing this. People, people would like to see this. And a lot of people do. A lot of people do. A lot of people love going to SeaWorld and watching the orca shows. You know what? I have an idea. Oh my god! Uh, that's not how islands work. Let's get some air. That's not how islands work, guys. Just thought I'd let you know. I mean, unless... Oh, wait a second. 
Unless that's not an island. Never mind, that's the island. That's not the island. It's gonna say, what? Yeah, all whales came from uh, mammals on land. They were in the sea, and then they went on land, and then they went back to the sea. I saw the island thing backwards. My bad. Yeah. Yeah, they're like, fuck this land thing. And then they got huge. That's true. That's true. There's a reason why I'm moving to buttfuck nowhere. Like, I'm literally getting Starlink so I can be away from most people. I'll just block out the haters and only let people that I want to talk to me talk to me. <laughs> Sounds fair, right? Well, yeah, I'll still have internet. That's what I was just saying. I, I'm getting Starlink. You could do it. You could do it too. You don't have to envy me. me. Oh, when the solar flare hits, it's gonna, it's gonna fuck everybody, alright? Doesn't matter where you live. When the solar flare hits, I'll be ahead of everybody because I'll be in the country with my mechanical cooking shit and my farm and my greenhouse and my animals that I raise for meat. When the solar flare hits, I'll be a little bit more prepared. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Let's go to... Honestly, we should probably deal with like down here, eh? And then work our way up. Oh God, look at all of, oh, there's so much. Holy shit. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Ha, you missed me, you fucking bitch. All right, let's go. Let's just go around to these. Few people do all of them? Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot, a lot. I mean, I've probably put... How many hours have I put into this game? It was over... It was just like 60 before I started today. And I've been online for... I've been playing for about six and a half hours, so I'm at about 80... I'm just gonna say... 87 hours? 
that I've put in- sorry, 67 hours I've put into this so far. <clears throat> I've put about 67 hours into the game so far. Complaining about other people not a fucking clue in the world, it's true. They could use it to Google the solar- isn't it like every- was it 11 years? There's a, a big solar flare, but they're not generally large enough to actually affect us because of the rotation of the sun. Or like the act like the sun itself when it spins, the center spins quicker, so when it meets up with itself in the middle, it there's a solar storm. And every once in a while, it's a big one. But our um our magnetosphere protects us from it, but the magnetosphere is always moving around, and it's not always good enough, you know? I remember watching a really interesting video about it, actually. Alright, you die. Yeah, fuck you. There's a channel called History of the Earth, and they post a lot of really interesting stuff. If you look up History of the Earth magnetosphere, You'll find the channel. It's hard to find the channel because it's literally just called History of the Earth. But it, it has, like, all of its videos are based on, like, different stages of the Earth's development. It's really interesting, albeit spooky. If the world ends, I'll just YouTube how to grow- it's a little late. If the world is ending, uh, learn now. <laughs> Honestly, like, I follow so many different homesteading channels. Not to say I'm, like, a doomer or anything, you know, but, like, I would like to know how to do all that shit, even if the world isn't struggling. Oh, it'll- it'll be absolutely horrible. It'll be fucking atrocious. Oh my god, if- if we- if- if the world's tech gets fried, that will be, at this point, the single largest disturbance in human history. I've seen a loan, I'll tap out, oh no. Okay, I have nails for you, dude. I just also, um... I don't know where to get the twine. Oh, most humans will die. Like, definitely don't be mistaken. Most most people will probably die. Which is, uh, fucked. Whoa, buddy! Is he not here anymore? Because I completed the quest? What happened? I guess he doesn't have to build the boat anymore. Where did he go? Oh, sick! Repair kit. He went to find a new crew for... for As a woman, I would be quite nervous, to be totally honest. I would hide myself away from the world. I would be terrified. I would be so fucking terrified. For real. Oh, maybe I can take that treasure now. I don't know, I'm a higher level. Yeah, women would be, like, captured and used as, like, breeding machines. <laughs> A lot of tanks still use electric stuff. Like, it would fuck ev everything. Stuff that used gunpowder would still work. Yeah.
Aw, oh, a real solar flare would fuck anything that used electricity. Learn how to use a, a bow and arrow. <laughs> You'd have to. Well, you wouldn't have to. Just get livestock. You got a cross- I want a crossbow so bad. One of my dads said that when I buy my first piece of land, that he would get me a crossbow. Refrigerators. Yeah, no, there would not be refrigerators. You would need a root cellar, and you would need to learn how to properly ferment food and whatnot. You guys are so weak, I don't even need to use my oil or my urdan. Pathetic. Is this a cave? Oh. Yeah, it is. Okay. A master craft. Woo! Wait a second. Uh. Oh, wow. That's embarrassing. Is it really just some fucking bandits? Wait. I dropped this- oh no I didn't! <clears throat> and then the old druid said, if it- oh. It's raining. <laughs> I got my window open. There we go. Solved. Um. Global nope. Yeah, global fucking fuck off to the middle of nowhere. Go north. And then the old druid said, if it really is wisdom and knowledge you seek, take your most valuable possession and put it in a chest, and then sail to Undvik, climb the mountain and walk the ridge, bow once to each of the four winds, commend yourself to the gods, and toss the chest into the sea. Halvarg did as the druid counseled, then returned to the sacred grove. I tossed the chest into the sea, Holvarg said, but I don't feel one bit wiser. The druid replied, that is because there are no shortcuts on the road to wisdom. Neither saying prayers, nor making offerings, nor listening to the words of a wise man will grant it to you. That is your lesson. Hearing this, Hulvarg flew into a rage and strangled the druid with his bare hands. Then struck his head on a pike and set it in front of his house so everyone would know that while he might not be wise, he was nobody's fool. Okay. Search for treasure on the bottom of the lake using your witcher senses. I can do that. Oh, thank you for the follow. <laughs> what a buffoon! A buffool, even. See, this water I can handle. This water's fine. Ooh, the hell it is. That was a big fish. Oh, stuff and things. Ah. Let me see. Yeah, man, stuff and things. Ursker. Where do we want to go? <sighs> What's that doing down there? Yeah, relic is like, like epic gear. You know.
And then Witcher, I guess, would be like legendary. Oh, oops. Well, I do want to go to here. I guess I go to the abandoned village? Or do we want to just say fuck it for a lot of the question marks because there's so fucking many. Here, let's go here, get some quests, and let's do some real quests. Where we'll get some real experience. Although a lot of these question marks will give me good oil recipes and shit. I just... I just can't be fucking bothered right now, I guess. They can be quite cool. Oh, absolutely. There's just so many. And I know want to level up a little right now. Some land-based shit? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've had enough of the deep ocean. It's... We're, we're, uh... Done with that for right now. Bum, 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 bum. Alright, so. Secondary quests. Um... Hollowed Horn. Oh, yeah. Well, hold on one heckin' second. Let's go down here and warp our way up. You watch yourself, not white hair. Well, let's see. Oh, true. I should sell some shit. I got a lot of it. First, let's see if I have any armor or weapons that are better. Mm, no. No, absolutely not. No. 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 Mm, no. Hmm. Yeah, I think uh, I think I will. Ooh. Chance to find additional herbs. Piercing fortune. Okay. Mm-mm. No. Ooh. Mm. I'm just gonna go ahead and say no. 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 All right, so I can sell all this stuff. Yeah, it's okay. There's other things. There's other things. Okay, where can I go to sell stuff? Maybe I should look over here, actually. I can always come back. There's a lot of question marks here. Holy shit. Okay, well, I'll come back there at some point. The whale graveyard, I remember that. Ah, they're probably part of a set. I wouldn't doubt it. Grindstone. Armorer's table. Where on earth? Oh, I've already recently gone to him. Hmm. 
Hmm. Where the fuck are We just need some fucking merchants. Is anybody who buy my shit? We might have to try, uh, Velen. SC3, yeah, I mean... The curse that held him oh. was hard to lift, but Yennefer and the Witchers managed to do it. The ugliest man alive revealed himself to be not man, but elf, and an elven sage at that. Avalach, for this was his name was the elven mage who had helped Ciri flee the hunt, then hidden her away on the All right. Well, we don't really have enough time to do more quests tonight. Because it's already 2.40, and I did want to do a jelly review. <laughs> so we'll sell stuff, and then I'm probably going to close the game. Whoop. And we'll play more tomorrow. I will. Give me your money. What are you selling? What's good? Actually. <laughs> oh my gosh, do you have anything I can buy? Anything that's worth buying? Elven armorer's tools can be uh eh. Maybe I'll buy the cured draconid leather just just for shits and giggles. There we go. Still came out richer. And free of stuff. Let me see though, is there... Uh, no, they don't want to buy my stuff. You can have that. Um, I have so much stuff, holy shit. Amber, wow. Hmm. Probably gonna hold on to a lot of this stuff. Let's see. Need some armor made. Witcher's armor. Well, let's see. Alder folks boots. Let me see what Griffin boots. So I can make some griffin stuff. But I can't make, like, griffin stuff that's good enough. You know? And I, ne I guess I need to start from the base, huh? So I would start with the griffin boots and then work my way up. Chest armor. I 
I should, yeah, so I have like the base stuff. I do, her, hold on. Up to three different oils can be applied at a, s oh, are you serious? Yo, that's sick. Strong attacks increase fast attack damage. Uh, after using stamina to cast a sign in its standard mode, the next sign will cast it in three seconds. Hmm. The size of Yurden Trap increases by 40%. While you're within a Yurden Trap, stamina... Oh, damn. I don't know, man. The woven armor, I feel like... I like to use a bunch of oils. Spikarag. As much as I love using signs, I still think that the woven armor is where it's at for me. Sapper's trousers. Do I not have the woven senses? There's feline enhanced feline. Where's the wool? There's no woven pants? Hmm. I have a lot of the griffin stuff. I'm surprised I don't have more of the the woven stuff. Interesting. Well, let's see. So for boots, <clears throat> no woven boots. No woven. Hmm. Okay. Uh, wait. Um, yeah, hold on. Crafting. Repair. Remove. Upgrade. Um, okay. Dismantle. Shop. Crafting. Hmm. Take care now. All right. Goodness. All right. Well, save game. Last time I saved was, oh my god, hours ago. Oh, wait, it saved up here. Well, that's weird. Still, hours ago. Weird. Okay. Time flies when you're playing video games. Okay, exit. Wait, hold on, escape. Game saved? Okay, good. Alright, just had to double check. Exit. Oh, that's bright. Hello? Hello, everybody. Oh. Goodness. Mm. How you doing? My hair is a mess. Goodness. Yeah. Yep. Yawns and stuff and things. You don't know. Well, that's okay, I guess. But I know. Things, stuff. I mean, yeah. That does ring true. Okay, give me one moment. I'm just gonna put on some music. I'm just gonna put this one on because I actually quite enjoy this playlist.
cocoa walnut date roll things. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. I would try it. All right, anyways, speaking of try it, I'm gonna go get my jelly. I'll be right back. jelly that I made today. This uh, is the small jar. It was just sort of like what was left in there. And yeah. Let's see what it's like. First, the color's pretty nice. It looks pretty nice. Hmm? No. Whoa, it smells a lot stronger right now than it did earlier. Break it in half. Oh. I want to try it just on its own first. The color's nice. The smell is quite strong. Wow. Wow. Do you want to try it just on its own? I have it on there. A little. Do you want more than that? I could put more. <clears throat> this is very good. It tastes like jello. It does taste like jello. It tastes like red jello. It tastes, it tastes like, it tastes just like red jello, but like higher quality. Sour. It's more sour, yeah. I did the Townsend's recipe. Was it just honey and It was just sugar and currants. That's it. Do you use sugar? Do you use honey? I use sugar? Use honey this time. I will. I just wanted to do it exactly to the recipe the first time. So I could see what's up. Yeah, it's like set boutique well. jello. Yeah, it really did set well. That's good. Yeah, because all I did. Oh yeah, all I did was I got the currants and then I got um, the linen that we have. You know the. Uh, yep, yeah. and then I just put all of the berries in there and I squished it until all the juice came out, and then that was in a little metal bowl. You didn't even heat it up. No, I did. Oh, but then I I wasn't done yet. I um. I then put it. I well, I measured out how much it was. It was exactly two cups. And so. Before you squished it? Nope. Oh, really? Nope. I would have imagined you'd get more out of it if you needed that break. Nope, I spent a good uh, 10 minutes squishing all the juices out, but because they're so gooey and stuff, it came right out. Jars. Yeah. And that was. What, uh, five jars? It was. About it, was half it was four and a half. So almost five. But with what's left, that'll probably be five or six jars. But yeah, so anyways, I, I got them all, I, I wrung them out, I got all the liquid out. What did you do with the match? Uh, I just gave it to Cookie. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and... Oh, thank you for the follow! And then I, I measured it out, I put it in a pot, and then I put in about a little over a cup of sugar. I'd probably use a little bit less sugar next time. 
Oh, well, yeah, I'll use honey. I'll use honey next time. If you use a cup of honey, it has water and stuff, so it won't be that strong. Yeah, 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 for sure. And then, and then I, and then I did like a, a, I simmered it for a while until it like, you know, I got all the scum off and stuff and I mixed it together and let it simmer for a little while longer. And then I just took that and I put it into jars that I boiled and that was it. I let them sit on the counter till they got to close to room temperature. Then I put them in the fridge. That's it. It might sound like a lot, but it's really not. You just squish the juice out. Heat it up with some sugar, put it in a sterile jar. It took me like... Like, a little over a half hour total? You can do that with most fruits. You just add apple to your pectin and eat it. We do that. It's really good. You yeah. can make all sorts of jellies. Mm -hmm. Just honey, a little bit of water, pectin from apple peels if it needs it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be really good. Rum jelly. Your peach jam. Oh, that sounds amazing. Peach jam. I love jams too, though. Yeah. Oh, we can definitely do jams as well. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I do love jellies more than jams, but I don't like hate jams or anything. Yes, we'll definitely get peaches. I love peaches. They're good. Start off the morning right. Rum jelly. Yeah. Well, we have, um, we, we oh, oh yeah, we can do that. Um, we have the tequila with currants, right? Yeah, yeah so we have to, are you sure it's not too early? Okay, bring like a spoon or something. We'll take a sip out of it. Okay. We have tequila with, um, with currants in it in the freezer right now. We've had it in there for a little bit. Rum jelly. Yeah, maybe. maybe. You want this cracker, hun? I'd rather I'd rather have a whole one. Oh, thank you very much for the sub. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, nothing ever good comes after smell this. Oh my gosh, thank you for all the gifted subs. It smells good. Thank you so, so much, anonymous gifter strikes again. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Anonymous gifter strikes again. That's a very, uh, that's, that's a very, yeah. that name works. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, um. <laughs> oh. No. No. I just, oh. It tastes like liquid peppercorn. It's a good description. That's exactly it. Oh, thank you so, so much. Well, I, I appreciate it a lot. I hope you have a great night. Cheers. Yeah, I, I think, like, al almost any alcohol besides tequila. I, oh, I do not like tequila. Like, I would try tequila in a savory drink. Like, I would try tequila with, like, a, like, tomato juice. I feel like that would be better. Like a little bit of salt, some tomato juice, and tequila. But, oh my god. Ugh. 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 A Bloody Mary, yeah, that'd be the closest thing to it. Here, I'll just turn this a little bit more this way. Just in case. Your body's covered up by the chat, but your shoulders. I saw- You are wearing clothes, I know. Well, at least bottoms. They saw a man nipple, they said. <sighs> no, that's, that's allowed. It's okay. You're okay. We're working our way through it. Oh my gosh. It's good, eh? Here. Mm -hmm. Oh no! 
<laughs> My sister also made peach butter in a crock pot. That sounds amazing. Oh, it's so good with the cheese. Oh my gosh. We got on buttered bread. I wanted to make bread for tomorrow so we could have it with with that and some cheese. I'll make the I'll make the dough when I log out. I just gotta make sure that the big bowl is clean. I think it is. Is it bothering you? Ugh. Is that better? All right. Yes. Yeah, we'll see how they are. Hopefully. I get it though. I like them in, in person, but like on a screen, like if somebody has LEDs, but they have them on the, like the changing, like I don't like it. I don't like the color changing LEDs as the background and someone's stream. But people do it. Yeah, yeah, I don't really like it. Oh yeah, I get that. I, I like it, but but I don't like love it. I prefer it without, but that's how I felt about pears, so I understand. Need a little bit more jelly in this. We're running out of jelly. in this one. We ate it all. We got four more jars though. Yeah. Maybe six. Anyways, my dudes, I think it's about time I head out, but I will see you guys tomorrow for some more side quests and stuff. We'll do all the real side quests, and we'll see where we want to go from there. Did you talk about 1.3? I did, yeah, earlier. Yeah, for sure. I hope you guys have a good, uh, a good evening, day, or morning, or whatever it is, whenever you are, wherever you are. So if you don't already, be sure to check out my Twitter. I post things there. I also have an Instagram, but if you're scared of like spiders and centipedes and stuff like that, probably don't follow. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. <laughs> Subscribes and then follows. <laughs> That's the order you want to be in. But yeah, if you're scared of spiders uh, and centipedes, probably don't follow my Instagram because I have about 90 tarantulas and giant centipedes and Stuff like that, scorpions. I gotta post a picture of the scorpion at some point. Well, scorpions. Uh, there's a lot of stuff there. But anyways, uh, I also have a Discord that you're more than welcome to join. It's a pretty cool place. A lot of awesome people there. Um, just, you know, be be cool. Be nice. And then I also have uh, a YouTube channel where I post original content, you know? Very, very, very exciting. <laughs> and then there's also the vlog channel. Or, not vlog. The VOD channel. But, um... But yeah, if you want to check it out, by all means, go for it. And otherwise, I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night and goodbye, everybody. Bye! See ya! <laughs>